Good morning to you. Happy Monday. Happy Easter Monday. Hope you're well. Enjoying the extra bank holiday if you're in the UK. Lol. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a cup of tea. We're back in Railroad, although none of us can remember how to play this game. <laughs> we last played it in January, and all of us have forgotten how to play it. It's hilarious. Mr. Brawl Pro, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you for uh, kicking off some gifts in this April. Mr. Brawl Pro, if you just got a sub, please give me a thank you. Hey, it's not the Squirrel Express, Zint House. It's seriously quick railroad logistics, remember? SQRL. That's what it is. <laughs> it sounds legit, doesn't it? Yeah. We are seriously quick. If we can remember how to operate the controls, we will be seriously quick. Right, I've topped up on water and coal, so we're all good on that front. Uh, we've got a bunch of jobs to do. Can't remember how to do any of them. This is going to be good. I might actually slow time down. How do I do that again? Is it on here? There we go. I'm just going to drop back to real time temporarily. We normally play out on four to one, I think. But I kind of feel like we need to get the pace right. Because when it goes dark in this game, it goes really dark. So the game, Audi, if you remember, is about... Um, we, we've got this bit of track that we can operate on and there's loads of other track like loads of other track in fact I even think they've added stuff uh, but you have to get licenses to operate that far you kind of unlock things as you go along multiplayer with AI Hawkeye thank you for 65 months let me drag Monsieur Papere Or not. That time in, we was just about to jump down to make your life easier. And I was just about to come and say thanks for moving down. No worries, any time. Right, I'll put myself on voice sec. There we go. Error spike, thank you for 73 months. Reminded to believe everything online today. Mm. <coughs> it's just that day, isn't it? So, Pops, I, I heard that you're going to get a sex change to a dolphin. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is, Paul. Yes, it is. Where did you... Uh, that was meant to be a secret, Paul. Uh, sorry, did I spoil your announcement? Yes. <laughs> Stimpy, thank you for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Appreciate the support, Stimpy and Borpro. Are you yet able to make a sound like a dolphin or... Is that? No, no, that's still a part of the process, Paul. Only happens afterwards, right? And do you like swimming? I absolutely love swimming. Dolphins aren't allowed to key jump either. Uh, which cars am I picking up? The one straight down the line here? Yes. Oh, you noob, you didn't set the points for me. I've just flicked it. I nearly slammed oh, straight into you. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to play the game myself. <laughs> Dolphins don't eat kebabs. How do you know? How do you know what a dolphin eats? Yeah, it's 2024. If a dolphin wants a kebab, it can have a kebab. I have seen dolphins queue up outside of Tommy Tucker's on more than one occasion. <laughs> Wait, did you say I need to be pushing these? Yes. Because I'm not pushing them right now. I might no, lock them in the wrong place. <laughs> but I, I think it's best if you push them. Hang on, where the heck am I going? Appalachian hardwoods. Where's, where's that? <laughs> Seriously, where's that? Is there a list of industries somewhere? Think so? 
Locations. Up like in hardwoods. There we go. Bryson. Tracks. R1, G3A and G3B. Do you know what? I'm just going to connect these and pull them to Bryson because at Bryson I've, I've got lots of options anyway. Say faffing around here or faff around at Bryson. Okie dokie. Yeah, they do at SeaWorld boat ones. They, they do sell you buckets of kebab, don't they? So you can throw it to the dolphins. It's definitely a thing. Uh, Robert Boswad, thank you for 99 months, Robert. Wow. Close to that 100. I'll have, I'll have him and cheese, please. Happy Easter, Paul. Mods and chat. Hope you've all had a lovely time, and a big hello to Raging Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Raging Dolphin. New Twitch username incoming. Wait, how do you follow... How do you reset your camera, your person camera position? Because, like, I'm in the... I'm in the loco, but I'm not... If you see what I mean. Shift one? No, it's not that. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, you actually just stood on the hill? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> not actually in the track. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Okay, that's connected. That's connected. Okay, now I'm on the train. And two of the cars have got a handbrake on. That's not that one. Oh, God, how do you do this? Zero. How do you jump the camera to the end? Yes. So according to this, there's like two purple things, which I think means the handbrake's They're on off. somewhere. i just done them. But you need to go back. You're missing a carriage. What? Missing a carriage. You need to take the car one with you. Which car one? You. Just go backwards. Well, I need to do the coupling as well, won't I? I'm there with my camera. I can do it for you. I forgot the game's ambient sounds are really quiet. Yeah, like, there's, there's no ambient birds and stuff. I was like, is my game muted or something? So there you go. How are you coupling there? I'm on Flycam and I can just click it. How do you get to Flycam? Number two. Then WASD and right mouse click to move your camera. You didn't do my... Oh, yes, you did. I did. Hello, okay. Paul, Sean, and chat. I can't believe here. you're playing Railroader when I have you go and drive a steam train today. This better be an April Fool's joke. Scross. Well, Chris, you know, what can we say? We're playing steam trains today, and you still don't stick around. That, there's just no dedication, no loyalty. You're still up in sticks and go, if it's not the pub, you're driving mini trains, and here we are, driving your favourite thing, and you're still not staying with us. There's no dedication. I rest my case. I might have to put some elevator music on YouTube or something. This is way too quiet for a game. <laughs> yeah, until you... Well, like, when you're not operating the loco, it's just stupidly quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Cars, 400 tons, one awesomeness. One seriously quick railroad logistics. Lost Doc Blue has hit 100 months of fun and entertainment. Lost Doc, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for 100 months. I will sort your VIP badge out. If Imp would be kind enough to post in the memos chat, I shall sort that out later. Thank you, sir. Thank you for so much support over the years. 
Sensei Johnny, thank you for 28 months. Happy Easter. Page <laughs> four, smashing your front window and getting hit by a bee. See, I pressed W for whistle. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, by the way, you know if you fly around with the camera, yep. if you press the R key, it brings up a roster, and it'll have the one ticks that you're in, and you click the little I symbol, and it'll take you back to the train. Pro tip. That is a pro tip. I think this thing's starting to struggle a little bit with this incline. Maximum 13.8 miles an hour. It'll be fine. Mm, we'll see. I mean, the fact that I've no idea where I'm going. That's... <laughs> First bit is, just looking at this, who's in... Oh, screw one's not being used, is it? I was going to say night slacking. Whoa. He's just uh... arriving at Bryson with 50 passengers. I think you can actually put the passenger one on auto. I can't remember. Have they got diesels in this SG? I missed the Raging Dolphin sub. I did! Wait, what? Bor Pro gifted a sub to Raging Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I totally That's missed it. that. <laughs> Nice one. Uh, Hazard, thank you for 108 months. I didn't think there was diesels in this game. Say again? I didn't think there was diesels in this game. Well, he said last time, apparently. Hmm. Or he did, or I did. I don't know. Am I driving the train? Yep. Does it implement that stuff? Oh, it does. Oh, they redid the boiler stuff so you can go faster by moving the reverse now. Interesting. I'm sure they didn't implement that last time, but I remember seeing an update about reworking the boiler. What the heck? Did we just upgrade something? No, my game's gonna win as well. It's my game just refresh the map, which usually happens when you upgrade. And it did it again. What in the... I'm still moving a train. I'm coming through Whittier at the moment. Oh, have we gone to... It might be because someone's gone to a part of the map we haven't been to yet. Don't If someone's drove to Bryson for the first time, it might have just loaded that in for everyone. The EMD SW1 in it and GP9. Cool. The pups in the controller. No. I just spent five minutes going down the wrong track. Uh, Knight, where are you? Bryson, on the far left track. Okay, that's fine. I'm between. I'm going between Whittier and Ella at the moment. That's a single track. Yeah, you. Yeah, I can't remember. You see, SG. The problem is, it's now the first of April, and I last played this game on the 14th of January. And in between, my head got reset. So I can't remember. 
if there's diesels in it. I'll take your word for it. Wait, you're telling me you're, you're not a full-time streamer in this game? Yes, yeah, I only play one game, as you know that, and that's Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Was that, what level are you in, my friend? Oh, level 184 now. Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, I am like... on my 10th character, you know, I've got multiple oh, accounts. Okay. And you've got, oh, you're multiple. Damn, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. I can confirm there are two diesel in here. I am very impressed, sir. Uh, Calder, thanks, 68. Kowodas, 90. And Cricketer, thanks, 71 months of Prime. What's the speed limit coming through this bend? I can't remember. 30. Okay, I'm doing 33. Should be fine. Yeah, it is, it is the circles that are speaking, isn't it? Yes. Not the, not the numbers that are out of the circles. The numbers in the circle is the speed limit, yeah. The, the numbers, the other numbers are blocking was like between the signals, I think. Can you at least get a few groceries at the supermarket? Thank you, C3. Yeah, I got loads of groceries in the supermarket, as you know. That's where all these supplies are going to, your supermarket. That's it. This is all supplies for the, for the squirrel's cash. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, C3. Should be alright with 31 and a half, I reckon, around a 30 zone. You can always push it, right? The other days it was our house between the wagons and the hired brakers to sit on the wagons and brake. Mm. Now we've got trains that drive themselves. Have you spotted everything, Pops? Huh? Have you added everything to the switch? Yeah. Okay. Well, nothing up here needs moving in the uh, No, you'd have to go to that station and then click. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at the, the carriages. Okay, because Carri I was going to say it's region dependent. And if they're... What, how does the tab play with the... If they're transparent, they need to go somewhere else. If they're not... No, if they're transparent, they're at the destination. If they're coloured in, they need to be moved. Thank you. All right, That's so Knight, you need to let me know if you want to come out of Bryce and back towards Ella. And as it stands, not at the moment, unless I just stop. Unless I start bringing passengers back. Okay, just let me know. There is a passing loop at Gov Island, I think, so we could use that. There is, yeah. Through Ella now. Just waiting for the horn. Well, you got it. Don't forget you can go first person in your loco and you can lean out the window. Which is cool. Okay, there's one carriage up here that needs to move. Okay, okay. You can't open the window, no, but you can open the door. That one.
nice. Two dollars timely mana bonus. I like it. I forgot how frustrating shunting down here was, and then I've just got back into oh, I remember exactly where to stop and what to do. <laughs> it's absolutely fine now. <laughs> My brain took like half an hour to go. I know what I'm doing. in hardwoods three for bryson freight house the bat one for bryson coaling tower um how is it we look at the destinations again switch Locals, Bison, Colin Tower. So it says Bison, Colin Tower on the when I press tab, but when I look through the list of locations, there is no Bison, Colin Tower. Press T. T. To bring up the switch list. Yeah. Then scroll down to the ones that are going to Ella. Small by destination. Uh, destination Bryson Colling Tower, yeah. And then you can just left click and it will teleport, take your camera to it. Also, I love how you sort it by destination, also sorts mine by destination. As, yeah. Oh my god. In a multiplayer game, that's amazing. I was like, where's my list gone? I had this how I liked it, and now it's not how I like it. <laughs> yeah, so. Don't be sad. It's a Monday. You're not at work. It's a bank holiday. Enjoy it. Who's sad? C3, why? I'm not sure. Um, C3 has subbed with tier 3 and gifted 10 subs. Thank you very much, C3. C3PO TJE. Guys, if you just got a sub from C3, please give him a massive thank you. Thanks for the cup of tea, Mr. Squirrel. And don't forget to check out the newly, newly renovated Discord server. Yeah, if you just got a sub, you can join the Discord server. Recently renovated by the two boys in the room. It's had a fresh lick of paint. As indeed. I'm literally just about recovered from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so not I was... used... I'm not used to being up until three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I was perfectly fine. <laughs> um, I haven't planned it for my day off. It's about a week, big gamer, I think. Jeez, it's actually gone quite quickly. <laughs> Did I finish <laughs> Supermarket Sim? Did I finish it? No. Not technically. Thanks very much, C3. Very much appreciate your support. Did I, Benjamin? I'm sorry, mate. 52 months. 
Uh, hands in a lot of pain. I had to get stitches after uh, I did ball joints on my Jeep. That has 440,000 miles. After slamming my knuckles into the Jeep's knuckle, going all the way to the bone. Ouch! Good to be back, Benjamin. Dude, that sounds painful. Pops does that all the time. I've, I've done that multiple times. Like, dolphin mechanics are just... They're not the best, you know? Yeah, but the good thing is about being a dolphin, you're quite slippery, so you don't really hurt yourself much. You just slide off. And as a dolphin now... Not gonna lie, that was lastminute.com switching there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at the stream, I was like, you gotta notice? I'm coming back down to Bryson now. Okay. I'm in Bryson. Gonna have to drop a car off here. Yeah, I don't know what this place is called, but I'm. I'm up here. Look at your sat nav. Okay, that this loco up at Bryson, I can just use it to uh, move things, can't I? Yep. I think that's why I left it for shunting. Use that to get this. I'm currently set to go to where that passenger car is. I don't know whether that's going to be in your way. Uh, that's fine for me. How do you reset the two camera to be? Is it shift two? Which shift two, I believe. Yeah, as long as you come in that way, we won't interfere. Yeah, I'm going to come in on that far left hand, the, the track where the passenger car is. Is your mouse turned up? Yeah. No, can you tell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have a time slot yet? Um. I am leaking there. That's weird, because I shift clicked. I'm arriving by 10. Heck. Does control do anything in this game? Use alt, left alt, that's what I use. Okay, we switch over. This control does do stuff, yes. That's really weird. I shift clicked on the cup on the pipe and it didn't close the valves when it disconnected them. That's strange. Right, should be better than. Woo! Apart from when I press the push to talk on the mouse and it doesn't work. <laughs> when did your new mouse arrive? Today, <laughs> as soon as it comes. It's just such a chatterbox. He's wore out his push to talk on his mouse. It's like. He's inbound. this thing
quite tricky trying to line up the water pipe. You can't see it very well. There we go. You might need a new mouse as well. Your spather isn't exactly doing what it's told. They do break down after a while. I suppose they take a lot of abuse, don't they? From gamers. Um, if anyone's coming here, Whitler, just to let you know, I'm currently occupying Whittier. all the Whittier. I'm currently occupying all the tracks. You call it Whitler. Knight calls it Whittier. <laughs> it's just Whittier. <laughs> call it Wit or something. We all know where we're talking about, and there you go, I just used... And it and didn't work. Again. <laughs> well, I last purchased this mouse on the 24th of January 2021. 2021? So it's done, so it's done three years. Hmm. What's the warranty on them? Um, hopefully less than three years, so that didn't just waste my money. I think when I bought this mouse on Amazon, it had like for seven quid or something a big guarantee. I thought, you know what? I'm, I don't normally take that from Amazon, but I'm going to take it. The only problem is, is when it breaks down, will you remember that you've still got a warranty on it? No idea. Well, it depends, Matty, how much you use the mouse. It's more than three years. Well, yeah. I mean, back it's in the day when they used to have a ball in them, that used to clog up, but they're all lasers now. The only thing they can go is the switching. Which is what's gone on night. Is exactly, it's always the switches. switches. I mean, like, the mouse itself is fine. It's just the buttons on the left-hand side, which is what I use to push talk. Yep, that's what I do. It'll get repurposed. It'll be used on my gaming laptop instead now. Because I don't use, tend to do much Discord on that. I oh, know, you're very rude. On a gaming oh, no. laptop? Yeah, he got it. So when he goes away, you can jump on, but he never does because he's just rude. Oh, hold on a sec. Since I've had it, I've not been away long enough to have the need to do it. Say excuses. Me, 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 me. Right, I've got a full passenger train. Uh, that is nice, you can hear as well, yes. What's it told you where they need dropping? What's it highlighted it? It does if you so you've got tab so just hover over the green above the trailer. Just hover your mouse over it and then it, it will highlight where it needs to go. You should get some white text come up. It's not doing it though. No, you need to hover over the green icon above the carriage itself. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's dirty. Hello, crisps. I have to do some dirty shenanigans here. I'm glad I'm the only one, not the only one having fun with this. <laughs> I think I've reversed up and down the same through the same switch about 12 times so far. I've got to build up enough speed, disconnect, and then somehow throw the switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but flying switch is harder when you've got to accelerate away from it, especially when you're going towards a dead end. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to do that yet. Yeah, but you see that will faff around and go around the back of it. I think I need a better run up. I need to pull some distance. A skill issue. Okay. I'll show you skill issue. You show him, Paul. I will do. 
I am entering the single track. Pops on the way you're going or heading. The problem is when I shift click this pipe last time, it didn't work very well. I'm still at Whittier. Whittaker? No, Whittier. As a dolphin, I learn very quickly. where I hope I left that with enough speed. Is that going off energy, I wonder? Should be. I mean, he's quite heavy. In theory, he should have enough momentum. What was the maximum recommended speed when there isn't a speed limit? fast as you want it's mm. not really a problem when there's no limit Just know I'm still occupying all three tracks at Whittier. Yeah, it's fine. i got to stop at Ella, drop past, move off, and then carry on. So. Uh, Devastator, thank you for four months. After a long time, finally able to be back again. Welcome back. Mr. Impierce, you are very close. 98 months. And Baldy, happy Easter. Thank you for 10. Banner Lord, thanks for 27. Banner Lord just reminds me of Banner Lords. Man of Lords. Hmm. <laughs> Can't wait for that game to be released. Do you know, I've emailed the devs twice and had no reply. <laughs> right, okay. Plus four dollars timely. I'm very timely with my delivery. It's perked to being a dolphin. Thing is, I'm sure this coal tower is already pretty full. Yeah, it is. It's like ninety percent full, and we're delivering to it again. Question is, is your carriage going to have enough momentum? I reckon it will, because it's very heavy. But they do sometimes put an incline up here. We'll see. Isn't it made by one dev? It He's is, probably yeah. got the fullest inbox imaginable. He's very active on a certain social media network. You could try there. Which one? Twitter slash X. Uh, Sand Experiment, thank you very much for uh, your raid. Welcome, guys. By the brakes. Lovely what job. What experiments were you doing in the sand? Skill issue. Ah. <laughs> Back at you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Sun Experiment. Welcome, guys. Hope you had a great stream. Appreciate the raid. Right, Bryson Freight House. Where's that? Oh, back there. Oh, you skip back. FR1. I'm just going to apologize now for in case the bot times anyone out. So they both want going back there. Actually, I 
We use this. It's good having this little shunt in Loco. Yeah. If either of you two are not busy, you could do a job here. Just saying. No pressure, I'll do it, but I'm just saying you could. I'm still shunting stuff from the That's yard. Fine. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> no problem. No, if you'd have said that one, I was up there. Well, you knew you can just teleport around the map, but. <laughs> but you can't teleport the train. I'm just coming into Ellen. What kind of experiments do you do here? <laughs> Not sand ones. <laughs> well, yesterday we was playing Supermarket Sim. Friday I was playing Timberborn, I think. Yes. So yeah, we do all kinds of stuff. All kind of simulators. Is this a sim or a builder? This is a sim. So with this one... <clears throat> You're kind of running your own railroad company, but in multiplayer. I think when you start the game, I think you can go up to Ella, Whittier, and up to the log the sawmill here. So you've got that bit of map. You kind of go through different licenses. So by building your company, get more locos, you buy a license, do deliveries. And then we unlock down to Bryson. Bryson's a big station. And then ultimately you can carry kind of, feel via more licenses, you can get all the way down here. So you can do really big jobs, more powerful locos, and ultimately get to diesel. That's a question, pupil. Was the map always that big? I feel like they've added a bit more. I'm fairly sh fairly sure that that has been expanded. I don't feel like it was that big. Yeah, me and Knight were saying this last night. It was like, it feels bigger. No, there are passenger cars as well, Newmark, but you never see passengers. But yeah, Knight's doing a passenger run in a pink passenger car. Yes. Well, we're not going to lose the carriage, are we? No. You sound very excited to be doing a passenger run in a pink car. Yay. But you can damage your loco, you can damage your cars, you have to repair them. And you have to take it down to the, the, um, the yard to have it repaired. It takes time to repair. Um... In terms of coal and water, you have to keep your locos topped up on coal and water, but you also have to move the coal around to these coaling chutes. So you need to refill them as part of your logistics as well. Uh, and you've got to look after your money. But there is, or well, there are AI drivers you can implement, so you can have, like, crew just move things for you in, in a dumb automatic way. But you kind of have to set the track up to do it. And then you can get your friends in, and they can drive locals as well. You can make them operators, drivers, managers, whatever. There's quite a lot to it. Well done, Paul. Yay! You didn't get timely delivery, though, so I'm disappointed in you. Well, I blame you. <laughs> I had to spend so much time faffing around, waiting for you to move things out the way. Oh, whatever.
Inbound. Inbound to you, pups. Uh -huh. Yay. Sounds like you've got a, mo a mouse problem there, mate. <laughs> push to talk's <laughs> going well. I want mine, but I'm using the keyboard. Yeah, but what's your push to talk delay set in Discord? Because it actually matters. I don't know. I don't you need know it about on about, this. You need it on about 200 milliseconds. That's what it's on. You're just not very good at using push to talk, Ken. No. I am now leaving Bryson towards the west. Scotty, thank you for 64 months. Hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. I'm currently lying by a pool in Lanzarote with a beer. You absolute scumbag. I am so jealous. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> also, if I was in Lanzarote and I'm by a pool with a beer, I wouldn't be watching Twitch. No offence to you, Paul. You're a great streamer, the best on the platform. But I think I'd rather enjoy the sunshine. You don't get much of that where you live. No, I don't. Actually, to be fair, you're the one that had weeks worth of rain and I had a couple of days. That's true. <laughs> but and it was nice and sunny and warm for me while it was wet and miserable for you. What's it doing for you today? Sun's out. Nice and sunny here. Is it past midday in Lanzarote? I don't know. Lanzarote is on the same time as us. Then... No, it's got four minutes to go. I genuinely looked at the in-game time and thought that's what time it was. Well, <laughs> 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 blimey, that went quick. Captain Flint, thank you for 97 months. Start of my ninth year, can't believe it's been eight full years already. I remember my very first sub on Yachts 2 Day. Blimey. Thank you, sir. Oh, hang on, I need to stop because I'm not where I'm going yet. Alright, where does this one want to go? Hmm, I should pull that one out of there, shouldn't I? So this is the other thing about this game. Is there's already a car here. But if I put these cars in front of it, at some point this car's going to want to go back and then you're going to have to shunt them around. So I could pull that one out now. Will that affect it? Because it's still loading. No, you can pull it out and put it back. I've the, been, I do it all the time. Yeah, so if I pull it out, put those three behind it and then put that one back. Yeah, that's how I do it, yeah. Why is my train not moving? Okay. Squeaky bike on has been set off by Scotty McGee. Thank you, Scotty. Welcome, guys. Thanks for gifting five subs to the chat. If you got a sub, give me a thank you. Well done. Thank you. Right, you're clear to come down on the line that you need. That's rather handy because I'm kind of here. Are you? No, not yet. I was going to say, I don't see you on my screen. I'm about to come around the bend into the passenger station. Okie dokie. And the freight is actually behind me, instead of in front, instead of in front, just to make things easier. 
Look at that bright pink carriage. I tried to ignore it. Why? It's the best. Oh, wow. Holy smoke, whoever just set that off. Kieran. Right in the middle of me concentrating. <laughs> One second, Kieran. Was BAW Pro. <sighs> the timing, like seriously. I'm in full concentration mode here. Fly shunting, and you guys start doing that. Right, drop that bar. <sighs> it just tested your concentration skills. Well, it Paul. did. It did test my concentration. When you go into click, <laughs> when you're trying to click a coupler or a pipe in a particular pixel, and as you focus on that, that thing goes off in your ear. You think you've broke something. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to click. <laughs> Mr. Kieran and Boar Pro both gifting 20 subs each. Wow, thank you guys. Setting off the klaxon. 40 new subs. If you just got a sub, please give Boar Pro or Kieran a massive thank you. Refresh your page. Enjoy the emotes and no ads. Join the Discord server if you want to. Thank you for your support. Captain Flint, we don't talk about that. But what? Just like the snooker oh, the match snooker. against pups, where everyone thought it'd be clever just to send in Christmas deliveries. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I, st I, I challenge you to another game, Paul. I'm up to like 200 hours or something now. You, you just try hard that game now. And you've probably edited all the I&I &I files on it. Emil Urka, thank you for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much, Emil. A great day for new subs. Yep, well, that's 50 new ones right there. Thanks to Boar Pro, Kieran, and Emil. Also, I just checked. I'm up to 230 hours in snooker. 230 hours in snooker? You're such a trial. Have you even won the game yet? Yeah, I've got the AI on the on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I have a hundred and seventeen minutes. <laughs> but the AI just cheats, doesn't it? Ultimately, it does because it learns that you oh you got like a good few pots and then it goes no nope, yeah. I'm just gonna pot everything. I'm just gonna clear up. Yeah, like there's nothing more boring than watching the AI just clear up. You're not even I watching just... a real talented player; you're just watching AI bot itself. I think you're right, Emil. Imp, I remember when URLs weren't like that. That's insane. <laughs> it's not as bad as when you try and share a sim brief flight plan, though. I've just got to wait for these to switch over to take back to the interchange, so I'm just going to go make a cup of tea quick. Okay, slacker. Oi, I've moved I don't know how many carriages. I'm bringing another one here now. We've got to sort that first. All you have to do is put it in the interchange. It's not exactly hard. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's your job. Obby, obby. I think I've left enough room.
Thank you very much, Boeing. Your wife loves the hoodies. Nice. A lot of people do like the hoodies, actually. Didn't even set the switches for me. Oh, no. It's just a part-timer. Really, game. So I've not been paid for one of these cars because it's about two and a half meters away from where it needs to be. So I've got to go back there now and push it. Night's not even here. I mean, sorry. Millimeters out. It's crazy. Like it's in the right area. It's just, yeah. It's, it's, it's not in the right box, basically. Yeah, I've got to put this car at the back in a minute, but it's just annoying, you know. Yeah, I need something. I think there's a bit of a slope on this track as well, though. South Africa, thank you for 110 months. Please send help. My many walls in the new house need painting. Lol. Dude, if there's one thing I don't like, it's painting walls and doors. Like, just, uh, I get so bored. I love it when it's done, but yikes, the process of it. I don't like watching paint dry because 
that's when you see patches appear and you've already put the paint stuff away. You enjoy painting, Hannah? Right, that's you booked in next time. Next time my living room is doing. It's all good. Is it in the right place? Will be in a minute. It is now. Okay. Job done. Right, what's next on the list, pups? They're all um, done. There's some jobs down there. Uh, witty exchange. Yeah, I just got mixed these ones a second now. They're done. I was waiting for the to finish. And then we can pass all the time. Coming back towards Bryson. Right, do I need to bring this thing back towards the uh, the main area now? Um, the AI is still unloading logs. Okay. Giorgio, thank you for 16 months. What have we got? We've got 5,700. We have no loan at the moment. Which is nice. Uh, Briscoe, thank you for 39 months. We don't need loan drawing for it. You know what surprised me the most with you playing Supermarket Simulator? Oh, great. You The amount of people that were, like, trying to get you to take a loan when you didn't need one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you no, know, the amount of people that go, oh, you can take a loan. I'm like, yeah, I know. just don't want to.
think we have possibly had a loan on this game. But we quickly, like, we get a loan, get a loco paying off. I think it was literally for a loco. Used a quarter of my coal and water doing all that. <laughs> I think they changed the way it calculates like water and coal burn as well since we last played it. I think so. Yeah, we got these, this upgrade for these posh signals, but I'm really not sure how they're benefited yet. I can't work out what we got for our money. What was that? Milestones, wasn't it? Yeah. Completed. They are signals. Enhance the railroad with CTC signals. That's what we did. So we currently have stuff available to do in terms of licensing. We can unlock two diesel fueling stands, purchase a tractor silver, or do the Bryson Bridge line to Fontana. We'd have to spend $1,500 on the first phase. Oh no, it cost a 2000 Then we get 1500 back when we finish, and we have to do the 13 cars. So whenever we click start on that, those cars get delivered at 6 a.m. Yeah. I mean, we can do one now. That we'll extends the line to Fontana Lake Shore from Bryson, I think. There's Fontana. I don't know where Fontana Lake Shore is. I don't know, someone just put in chat. The line to Fontana is fun. The trains you need to move are heavy. Where is Fontana on this? Literally can't find it. I'm looking and I can't find it either. There's Hemingway. Brooks. Can't find it. I think is if we unlock an extension, does that automatically unlock more jobs per day? Um Yes, we but we have to go to the companies, I believe, and ask them what they want. $2 of damage, eh? I saw that. Didn't see a timely bonus either. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, sorry. Mistakes were made. You get access to more industries and more passenger stops. There you go. They need to sort the engine audio out. <laughs> and the ambience audio. I think what gets me more is the ambient audio. Yeah. I'm always thinking like my sim's 
muted or something. Like, Deerau Valley overhauled their uh, audio around the ambient. Like, when you move around, it changes, doesn't it? Yeah. It does add a lot, audio. We could also... I don't know. It says Bison Bridge. What's that? It says Bison Bridge, so it can't be that far from Bison. Bison Bridge, line to Fontana. Bryson Bridge. In Pierce, where's Fontana? There's Bryson. Maybe it's that, um, you see where Bryson is? Maybe it's that one that goes kind of south, southeast. Maybe it's that. Fontana bit. is west of Bryson. West. So is it the bit that goes up to Arca, whatever it's called? Alarca. Yeah, is that the bit that goes up? Is it south, up to there? isn't it? That's Hemingway. So I was going to say, we could take Bison Bridge and both diesel fueling because they're only one car. Diesel stand. Yeah, I mean, we could knock them out. Because the diesel Knight could do, we could put that passenger one into the heat of her heart and then take the diesels because they got to go quite a long way. Do you want me to just start both those two then? And you can do the bridge as well, if you want. Well, the bridge is quite a big one, 13 cars. Yeah, your train can do that, come on. This is going to be absolute chaos when it gets to 6am. <laughs> Buy some bridge site is there. We've got to do a passenger run every day, haven't we, I remember? I think you have to do one every day. Yeah. I mean, if I've, if I've got to go from here to somewhere, I might as well take the passenger carriage with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what ones to grab when it loads in at 6 a.m. Yes, yeah, so I'm just chilling out here. Yeah, no, it's... Go and sit down next to the water river. Get my plowman's out. There's an extension beyond Alaka that needs 21 car traffic. Also postal, we're not, it's not like we get it, it's cost us $232 for the license to deliver. Might as well knock them out, Costel, it's going to be needed at some point and they're quite cheap and easy, so... Yeah, Is I agree, we're not using it yet, but... Infrastructure. On, one less thing to do later on. We're kind of going up and down the track anyway, we may as well take an extra diesel tank with us. What has surprised me is how slow <laughs> the log unloading has been. <laughs> Only three carriages are empty. There's still five, five to go. Well, that's because I didn't... Like, time normally goes quicker. Like, if I speed time up to four to one now, you'll see the log start unloading a bit quicker. I slowed it down while we learned how to play oh, the yeah. game again. <laughs> because I thought the last thing we want is, you know, not done a load of jobs and it's gone dark. All right, coming through Whittier. Okay. Uh, the time in the game is shown top right of the screen, Tell. They need to improve that water, it looks terrible. Yeah. I'd rather them improve the sound first. Yeah, I, I agree. I'd rather have the sound first. Some nice steam audio is what we need.
All right, I'm going to come into the coal and water thing. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, you should be set for that. Who's with the PAX car? Night. Yeah, I'm on the other line. And then he's going to grab the two diesel tankers at 6 a.m. So we've done all the jobs for today, then? Yeah. So the knight's going to do the passengers and the two diesel, and then you're going to take the 13 cars up to the bridge. But we'll probably have to do a bit of shunting, because I doubt it's going to put them all in nice order for us. Yeah, it never does that. Blimey, well, mean, even at four to one speed, it's taking a while to load this coal. I can't remember when this gondola of coal runs out over here. Do we have to like, I think we take it back to the interchange and get another one for free. We yes. don't have to do anything, do we? No, no, to it just initiate switches that. it out. Still got 5.8 tons on board. Where's your low co pops? Uh, at, comp at the other end of the interchange, I'm nowhere. Like you're clear all the way. You there. don't want to be on that area because it might not spawn something. Oh, I'm right at the end of it. Like, what conditions your local in? Um, one second. Because if it needs to go in the repair yard, you may as well stick it in overnight. Eighty percent, it's fine. Why don't you just stick it in? It means driving. Do you know you're going to have to do some driving in this game today? I know, but I'd rather save the driving for when I need to drive. Okay. I'll bring it quickly. You need me to move out of the way then? No, I need to not be an idiot and go down the wrong track. You, better you come can down come down. The... No, he needs to come down the inside one, doesn't he? Yeah, I need to go where Paul is and then go into the shed. I know John Blaise. <laughs> this train driver sat in his train gun, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to drive. <laughs> you know, I got all of outrage. It is an outrage. So where's the AI's loco right now? You're in it. Is that it? We need to buy another, don't we? Yes. How much cash have we got? 4,000. How much is it for a new... What locomotive is this? This is... Well, I'm in the Mogul. G16 Mogul, 41 tons. Same. I think they're all G16s, yeah. G16 Mogul is... There. Okay, I'm surprised my train stayed on the track. Through the switches, I didn't realize I was going that far. <laughs> 6,300 with a 10% discount, 5,670. We are 1,578 short of another one. And what does it is it a negative effect if we get a loan just to cover that temporarily? Um. How much will we get for doing these jobs tomorrow? Will that cover us enough to pay that straight back, pretty much? Oh, yeah. Because ideally, we want this loco to be back doing log work, don't we? Yeah. Mm, we get paid thinking. for that. So I could get, I can do it in thousands. Perhaps get 2,000. Yeah. 2,000, do that and then pay it off as soon as we get paid. Interest payments $100 in two days. We should pay it off before that, shouldn't we? Yeah. 
but I'll purchase that. Which means that will also spawn down there. And I'll go and push this back up where it needs to be. Where's your fourth loco? Number four is the one I'm in. And the spare one is up at Brighton doing shunting work. Wait, number five spawned in instantly. Wait, what? Pups lied. When, since when did it do that? I don't... I, I don't remember having to wait overnight for it, but... I swear we... No, I don't know. It's anyway, been a while it's since there, but it's again. facing backwards annoyingly. I put it on road? Yes. Status. Approaching 4104. They just leave it at max speed zero at the moment. It's still unloading. I don't know if I have to set it to do anything. I can't remember. I'll sort it out. Yeah, but I want to know how you do it, mate. You literally wait for it to be empty, then press reverse so it pulls itself out the side in, and then mm. just set it to forward and just change two switches, and then it will stop when it gets to the top. Okay, so what's the other mode? Yard, then? Uh, I've never tried that, because I've always just used yard. Oh, no, yard is where you can set it to go back a certain amount, so you can set it to go back 50 metres, 20 metres, 100 metres, if I remember correctly. Right. So if you're using it, the AI for shunting work around the yard, you can just take it to move in certain chunks. God, they don't even give you full washer and coal when you buy. It's just like wow. buying a car. This isn't it. It is. That was always my favourite trait when I bought a car. You do all your negotiation, you get down to your final, final, final price, and then you say. Okay, if we're signed today, will you give me a full tank of fuel when I pick it up? And they look at you and they're like, you scumbag. And they go, okay. Because they know I'm literally asking for like 50 quid or something. But they, it's just the, the look of... Like, <laughs> the look you get back off a sales rep is he, he thinks, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you over a tank of fuel, am I? I can't say no to that. And it's like, checkmate. <laughs> Noted. You always ask for some car mats. <laughs> you see, I consider that to be an extra. Yeah, because normally it comes with like, oh, you got 10 miles left in the tank before it runs out. Mm. Especially when the garage has got a petrol station attached to it. Oh, it's just scumbaggery. Took paper for a walk yesterday in between the streams. I think yeah. I must have sneezed about five or six times. Pollen's just <laughs> starting to pick up, you know. You just wait till everyone starts cutting their grass, pulling the, the councils out, cutting the grass. They already are, mate. They already are. Do you like avoid garden centres in the summer? 
I mean, because I would. I yeah, I I try not to let it affect my life too much, but it is yeah. it is annoying everywhere you go. You're just sneezing. And I know sometimes you get it quite bad. Oh, crikey, yeah. End of May is the worst time. Peaks out, but it takes weeks to sort of calm down after that. Battle Rabbit, 31 months. Welcome back. How do I turn this thing around? We don't have a turntable here, do we? Nope. All right, well... We're done here, so I guess we can skip time then. Yeah. Well, some people have been having it for weeks. If they get if their tree pollen sufferers, I've been fine. But now the grass is growing again. Right, sleep. Wait one hour. Did we used to sleep? Sleep. Let time pass until the first hours. schedule interchange. So is the day. Let's do that then. Wait for these carriages to disappear. <laughs> oh my life. Well, you wanted it. You got it. I love how they've just used one interchange line like and put them all in a massive line. Like, thanks, guys. Also, the one at the back goes to diesel stand. Yeah, yeah that's what I want, isn't it? Diesel. Rice right. and bridge site is all the ones at the front. Oh no, hang on. No, we no, need to pull the first three off the front though. Yeah, so Paul, can you grab the first three and then chuck them into the side in? No, because the front one is a Bryson Freight House, which is near Bryson Bridge, surely. They all need to go to Brighton, but Knight's also going to Brighton, so do you just want to take the bridge staff? Yeah, fine. In that case, Knight should pull the first three. Yeah, right, Knight. Bring your, your pink carriage and grab the first three. Do I not want the diesel one? Yeah, but you need to grab the first three, which means Paul needs to move, because you need to go forward, uh, reverse and then forward. Somebody needs to go around the back, though, and start moving the diesel. You want me to go around the back? I may as well go around the back, mightn't I? And move those diesels out. Uh, I'm just thinking, because if Knight grabs the first three and then just goes into the side next to it, you can just hook up to the bridge and just reverse all the way. If you yeah, want. well, I'll, I'll pull those away from the consist and then chuck them down the side and he can attach them to that, though. Yeah, I've not tried that, AMH. I may try the whole local honey thing. we got to wait for the bees to start doing the thing first. Maybe your engine has a, has a lot of power pull, because I have a feeling it's going to be quite heavy. Well, let's see. I think you can play it single player in Akros, but there's so much to do. You'd have to use the AI drivers quite a bit, I think. So you're grabbing the diesel one off the end, right? I presume so. Where's that one Stenzel MFG? Where's that going? Okay, don't take the diesel one, because that's only 0 0.2 miles away, so that's literally at the shed. So if you could pull that entire orange section off and just put it into the side and next to you. And then when night comes back, I'll get him to take the three ones that are going up to Bryson. That's not the bridge. And you can hook up on the 13 bridge carriages. Is the AI intelligent? No. It's it's shunting. Kind of. You basically have to tell it when to move, and then it'll just get on with it. But it saves you a lot of time. Thank you, THU.
Like, you should be able to go forward. <laughs> yeah, I have detached them. Hang go on, I'm coming to yours. I know when you've hit them. Well, they all need to go into the side in next to you. The, the very little one? Yeah. Well, just the big, like, if you pull forwards to the, to the switch and then reverse, you got the track next to you, just dump them there. All right, Knight, are you on? Yeah. You need to first, these three. All right, forward, Knight, that's you. Or reverse, Knight, whatever way your train is facing. It's crazy to me as well, THU. I think all the hard brakes are off. No, I've got a brake on some. No, no go. Yeah. There's your four. So you got passengers and then three that are up at Bryson. And then Paul's got... <laughs> Paul's got the heaviest load of them all. <laughs> what about this? This is all I up? need, yeah? Yeah, that's all you need, right, Paul? You need to reverse. I know that, mate. Give me a chance. I'm in, I'm in the zone, okay? Backseat driver. I am the logistics manager here. Right, I'll put your thing it's reverse, yeah? I'll remove your brake, yeah? Yeah. You're doing speed unloading? Do you want me to just, just leave these in this siding, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then you can take your consist of trains. I don't think anyone wants me to be air traffic control. Oh, look at that professional job there, Paul. Oh, yeah. Like a pro. And if only you, you, you could turn your train around. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I can't turn it around here. I'll have to nope. reverse the stuff up. Did you just stick the handbrake on? No. Oh, on the carriages, yeah, because they don't need to go any further. Backseat driving again. I'm just logistics manager. I didn't change the switch for you. Yeah, you just set it the wrong way again. I didn't click it. You just said I set the switch for you. No, I said I didn't set the switch for you. I said I didn't click the switch because I was hovering overnight. How very strange. Uh, I'll sort the AI out as well once you're past. None of this stuff is on the switch list yet. Uh, hang on. I'll change the switch for you at Ella Paul because you'll probably go past me as I'm loading passengers. Okay, thank you. I'm just updating the switch list quite long at this point. <laughs> right, everything is on the switch list apart from the logs that don't need to be on the switch list. Because they're on their own list. I want to know how much that all weighs. Eight eight one tons in reverse. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck. It'll be fine. <laughs> More worried about stopping this thing. Bryson Bridge site. Okay. Uh, Chris, so if you look at the uh, mod spreadsheet that Imp just linked to, you need to grab the top one in the supermarket list, which is the installer for the mods. And then on each mod at the bottom, there'll be a description telling you what folder it needs to go into. Switches are set. 
Paul that, will be there very shortly. Um, the logs have been unloaded, so when I go past, that can be sent back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that loading or unloading? Uh, they need to go back up to the, to the sawmill. It? Yeah, it needs to go back up. To the lumber, yeah. I'm just waiting for you to get pushed. Need to go up to the creek. Yeah, you can get stronger locos, but they cost more money. Sounds like you picked up a bit more speed, Paul. I'm doing 11 miles an hour. I'll leave it on 4 to 1 and see how we're going. No worries. Balance 2,000. I could pay a 1,000 loan off. Okay. We get some more money, I'll pay the other one off. I might press clean up on the switch list. It says remove completed roads because there is a lot on the list at the moment. Oh, that's better. That's more manageable. By the way, 09 jumps to the front and back of the train. Oh, that's the key. I've been wondering what key it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite handy when you've got a long train like this. Projects go beyond a larger junction. The trains you have to move come in at over a thousand tons. Lovely. You need bigger locos for that then. AI engineer. Three handbrakes applied. You need to release the handbrakes on the cars. Okay, I was just. I didn't mm. know whether it would do that automatically. Neither did I. Turns out it doesn't. That's stupid, really. Because if, like, you put it in charge of driving and you say, right, go down there, and it goes, I can't. The handbrakes on. You're like, well, you the driver or what? I need to change the switch after you've gone past. You can see lots of cars with a car search steam engine. Right, and then oh, no I'm coming right at you, so I hope those switches are set correctly. No <laughs> they are. No one's uh, been up towards the logging stuff, have they? So all the switches yeah. should be set. Right, do we remember what speed we used to set the AI to? Was it 30? Uh, 30 is fine, because it'll never go off track then. It'll never get 30 up there anyway. I love how professional the AI is, ringing the bell, blowing the whistle. Gonna bother turning the train down and I get to Bryce and I've got plenty of options. Seems to be capping out at 22 at the moment. Could be worse.
Uh, you can max out the speed for the AI. It will never go faster than it knows is safe. There you go. It can't turn a handbrake off, but it can obey speed limits. a list of stuff. So where's the two diesel things? I only saw one of them. Yeah, I only saw one of them as well. I did check and you definitely clicked both of them. Still with diesel. Milestones in progress. Yeah, two diesels are in progress. One's going to Bryson Freight House R1, FR1, and the other's going to a diesel stand. Is that the one Knight has on in there? It must be. If there's one going to Bryson yeah. Freight House SL FR1, that's it. Yeah, I've got it. Just gonna ignore that red signal. They did an update to the AI that will stop it at stations for passengers and wait there also. If not, there's a mod for it. I did read an update saying you can now set the destination on the carriage and it will just stop. We don't really need the AI to do that. There's no it's got to go that way anyway. I've had my customer service training. I'm all right with the passengers. <laughs> How long was the training? Five minutes. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. It was quite simple. Just get them there alive. I don't remember these telegraph poles with wires on them. Are they new? I don't remember them either, so I'm going to say yes. I presume they're, they're like signal lines or something. Probably. Just realised I got to the 30 speed limit. Through Ella now. Yeah, I'm not far behind you. The AI does follow signals very well, so that when you set up the CTC on sections of track, the AI only do what the signals tell them. How do you set up the seat? Oh, that was the thing where I went to that signal box, and I was looking at it, and I had no idea what was going on. Like it doesn't tell you. Probably have to watch some tutorial on that. Job, the AI only needs to go up to the login where there's no signals. Yeah, but at some point we're going to want AI running stuff. And yeah, that signal thing, I've no clue what it was doing.
Hey, Lexi. Platform's not very good. I was literally about to ask if they could the hit fix the hitboxes on the train. Well, see you try and get back on. My question is no. <laughs> it's it's tricky. It's tricky, mate. All I want to do is just lean out the side, but yeah, forget it. To guess at the engine, I'd say Unity. I'd put the um, the lamp on on the front. What does, what does this lamp start with? It's not L. I've pressed L. I just have to put the little generator thing on somewhere. I'm sorry, it's J. J. J for jam. So what does lamp start with L? Oh, the best bit is L doesn't do anything, so I don't get why you can't then kind of just Because L light. is what you use for your light when you're walking around personally. Uh, okay. That's your light. The button to lean is... F and G, no, it's Q and E. Well, it is on my keys anyway. Dread Girl, how you doing? Some bridge site 2.3 miles to the west. I assume it's going to be over here somewhere. I'm doing 40 miles an hour, mate. Damn! Check you out! Good luck stopping! I was going <laughs> to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how that goes, Paul. I don't know, um, Zintos. It's definitely doing physics calculations. Like, when we was going around the bend, it was slowing down with the friction. That's now how many nautical miles away you have to start slowing down. AI has arrived at the top looking at the it is, it's console. loading logs. I keep checking on it. Try to know when to send it back down. One point five miles. Thing is, it tells Derail Valley is quite a compressed map. There's lots of sharp turns and gradients. You know what would be cool in this game eventually is 
I don't know. Well, it might be available now. It's like modded maps. Imagine this in like the, the English countryside. We're just trying to build infrastructure. It would be nice to see it in uh, England. 1800, 1800s England. Quite fun. Yeah. Two hundred dollar. They could have let me finish and uncoupling the carriages before loading them. Repaid the loan. <laughs> I love the way at the top it goes. Congratulations for repaying <laughs> the loan you took. Yep. I don't even know if we paid any interest on all of that. We didn't know. Because we paid it back in time. We didn't pay interest. Oh no, hang on. Loan a thousand and ten. We did pay something. Oh no, that's the balance. No, we didn't pay any interest. No, we didn't. Just free loan. Good. Yeah. You pay it back within 48 hours, they don't charge you, apparently. Not point six miles. I've absolutely no idea where it wants this to go. How's your passenger run night? Doing good. With your 60, extra cargo. 60 packs on the way to Bryson. How many can that carriage hold? 60. Oh. There was more, there was more waiting, but there was only about 10 left, so it's... So what you're saying is at some point we may need another passenger carriage. Long to, I would suspect if they're saying that we're going to get more passenger stops, then we might need one then. You get longer passenger runs, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, if if we're getting a full carriage now, only to Bryson, we wouldn't have enough to go any further. I also presume that the passengers will pay for faster trips, maybe? So you might want a faster local. Good question, actually. I have no idea. You know, I'm always have a product fee on top. Oh, yeah. And it adds a significant amount. True Fury, thank you for 17 months. There is some stuff from Bison Freight House and at that Hardwoods place. Appalachian. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I found another word to add to my list that I can't pronounce. Yeah, okay. Gonna have a bit of moving around to do for one of my. Might okay to use uh, a spare engine up here. What's that? The one at Bryson. Yeah. It's for shunting. As long as you leave it there, that's fine. Cool. Cause I need to make some room. I'm on my way to Bryson now. If you need stuff moving around, I'm free. Well, I gotta go. There's somewhere up by where you are. I gotta drop two off, and the first one is is next to the shed. Is it? Well, if you detach those two, I'm on my way there now. I'll pick them up and bring them back in. I think we only get paid for that milestone job when it's finished unloading. Yep. Which might take a while. Is that you in track one? Yeah. 
I can't see a thing. <laughs> Literally, camera got covered in steam, and I completely missed the switch. Are those two at the front or the back? The two at the back. I'm leaving them where they are now. Okay, I'll need to come around the other side anyway. I'm going to stop in front of this station house and then reverse back to slip the track. This one. Then there were some carriages at Ella that needed to go back as well. Uh, towels 7170 thank you for 53 months Is that train staying on track one though? Yeah, it's unloading the... Uh, I can move it in a minute, unloading the passengers. That's fine, I'll just go round again. Uh, Biggie Footy, 107 months. Want to see if you stuck around. Can't believe you're starting your 10th year. A lot of laughs on it here and here and there. <laughs> as an added bonus, we got to learn the mod team. Whenever there's a tough decision to make, I can always ask myself, what would pups do in this situation? I don't know if that's a good, good, good way to live your life. <laughs> I know what he'd, he'd do in this situation. Rage. <laughs> No, that's not true, Paul. Now you're just painting me to be a bad dog thing. That's very accurate. Right, where are these going? Appalachian hardwood. If in doubt, order a kebab. See, that's a motto I can live with. <laughs> yeah, but Matty, you're Scottish, so your opinion doesn't count in this First situation. pizza, what, over kebab? 
I mean, I'll drive wherever a kebab. I would be ordering a kebab every day then. <laughs> No, see, I can't do a kebab pizza. You either have a kebab or you have a pizza. You can have a kebab pizza. You know. Yeah, but I just can't. It just to me, it's wrong. Why? I just don't like the idea of kebab meat on top of my pizza. Like, if I want a kebab, I want a proper kebab. <laughs> and if I want a pizza, I want a pizza. Do you prefer a uh, kebab with pizza bread or naan bread? When my takeaway has it in, none. If it don't, I'll just have a bit of bread. What about yourself? I prefer non bread, but uh, Tommy Tucker's doesn't do it, for example. Oh, I agree, Sugar Glider. There are there are some dodgy kebab places for sure. I think that can go for every fast food, though, can't it? Not just kebab. Oh, you gotta have loads of chili sauce for me, Jolly Giants. Chili sauce is what makes it. And they throw those long green chilies in there as well. Oh yeah. See, I like it with salad, but uh, I know Dave doesn't. Hey. I knew instantly who you was going to mention. <laughs> it's like a posh salad, isn't it? I'll have it with mine salad. You should do that next time you order kebab for ask it for exactly in that voice and tone. <laughs> I'm on my way up to Ella. Okay, don't forget your umbrella. I will. A, A, A. Where's this going? Oh, 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 the dirt of it. Wonder which one's on the back. R1 or G3. Got it, so I want. Right, the AI is reversing. Warning, this AI is reversing. I really don't think the game likes Beep me boop. jumping between two trains really quick. <laughs> it drops to like 10 FPS while it loads everything in. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was... Any more Freddos today, Paul? I've got a new one and, and a bit of a Freddo left here, yeah. <laughs> Although my daughter swiped one of the Freddos last night. Wow. And took a cream egg. Wow. That's just not on, Paul. It's just fighting talk, that was. I haven't got any custard creams, no. Just as Mrs. Screw walks in and goes, we've got custard creams. There's one that needs to go back to the interchange. Uh, uh, yeah, there's two here, actually. These two. Are they on the on the thingy list? Uh, yes. So I need to pull these out, right? Yep. Was you going to mention that at any point? I did say there was stuff up there that needs to come back to the interchange.
Time to raise the rent. He doesn't live here. He just came over. He just swiped a load of stuff and left. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Taking liberties. <laughs> Popped over. Mum made a dinner for her. She had a little nap on the sofa. Then when she was like, right, I'm going home now. Just grabbed a load of chocolate and left. Like, okay then. See ya. There's one slight problem with that sugar glider. If I go over to her house to do the same, there'll be nothing to take. <laughs> there won't be any chocolate lying around. It'd probably be the opposite. It'd probably be like, did you fix this? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, while you're here, my uh, my tap's not working. <laughs> well, do you think you're telling me before I come over I could bring some tools? Advocar. I know what Advocar is, Fadian. Yeah, but Ryan, you're not taking one important concept into account. My age is in squirrel years. <laughs> How many year squirrel years is equivalent to... I'm not sure, I need to calculate it. <laughs> Lol, imp. <laughs> so I'm like 105 in human years. <laughs> okay, what's left on the scratch list? Switch list, whatever they call it. East um, Whittier Interchange, what's all that stuff? So, four of that is at Bryson. Two of this is at Erno. I've got. I've got 20634 and I've got 45161. 
So at Brighton, there are still two carriages on. Well, yeah, and one at Whittier as well. The one in the house track at Whittier. I've got the, I've got the Whittier ones on there now, grabbing them. On my way back to Brighton, I'll have a look. And then I've got to pop up to Ella to grab the ones up there. Quick. See you later, Imp. Enjoy your footy. Wait, are you having pie and mash, Imp? And bin juice. You know it's like not bin juice. He loves his bin juice, you know that. <laughs> wait, wait, it's not real. What happened to it? Happened to what? Oh, yeah, Imp, didn't your one get a car through its front window? Well, Matty, go to a good place, because there are some bad ones. Matty, I can recommend you a good place. Where's these cars at Bryson? Yeah, car drove into it on New Year's Day. <laughs> If you look at the switch list, Paul, you can just click on them. It takes yeah, I know, but to my train's about to go into back of night, so oh, I was prioritising that. Train. You see, looks like he threw the switch behind him there. Oh, yeah. I have thrown the switch yet. I am considerate to my fellow train drivers. Uh, one. You've got that one. Wait, I've got this one. Yeah, that's four. You got two. I've got two. That's oh, weird, because so just... it said they were at Bryson, but I was down at Apilakian, but it still calls it Bryson. So you've got those two. And there's two at Ella. I'm, go I'm on my way there now. I just had to grab the ones from East Whittier. Don't know how many passengers are waiting, because you can't click on this building. Right, so one of them is down at Ella. Right, I'll get out. I'll just carry on and go down to Ella then get that one. Are you grabbing the ones from Ella then? Might as well. i got to come through there anyway. The car just refers back to the side and take care of the AI. Then, I believe that is the hit list. I mean, the switch list done. Yeah, normally the ticket office shows the number of customers there. Yeah, it does at Ella. just doesn't do it here or at uh, Twitter. Yeah. Strange. This is, also, take... this is also the one that's got the signal control box inside it. Are you clicking on the thing or just hovering over it? Oh. Okay, because I can tell you there's 78 passengers waiting at Whittelow. Okay. At what? I don't know why, I don't know why you're click, clicking then. Whittelow. Whittelow? Whittelow. How many Whittier. different times are we going to say this name wrong? <laughs> Whittier. At night, I can tell you there is 64 passengers at Brighton. So where are you looking at? Where Literally are you? Hover your mouse over the ticket window. That's what On I said. On the front. Oh, I, well, I see. I was just hovering over the building. No, oh no, God, I said to you, the ticket <laughs> office shows so There's 64 people still waiting after I've just picked up 60. Yeah. Is that you full? Yeah. So we know we were talking about potentially needing another passenger yeah. carriage. Sounds like it. We're leaving we money on the, on the table. List. What is our finances doing now? Let's have a look. We're on 898. It'll be over a thousand by the time I've delivered these. You, you two have delivered those in the AI's back. At the, is the that... Pool. What passenger car is that? Is that a Pullman 1900? One second. It, There's a 290 Pullman 1900 open platform. Yeah, so that car would cost us four thousand dollars to buy. We're not here. We're, We're not shy three thousand one hundred. 
for two days' worth, I reckon. It's almost enough. as much as a loco, that thing. <laughs> I think it doesn't pay that much. I was going to say, you, like, you only get one or two dollars back per passenger or something. $104 for 60 fares from Ella to Bryson and about 10 that came from Whittier. Maybe what we should do is when we get the longer run, then get the passenger car because they'll pay more money, presumably. Don't neglect your passenger trips. You can get 3,000 a day if managed properly. You see, that's where the problem is, isn't it? When you say those words, managed properly. We've got pups in charge of our logistics. Whoa, everything's going smoothly, so you can back down. Who do you think you are? I'll fire you at this rate. You can't, you can't fire the business owner, mate. <laughs> Watch me. Hostile takeover <laughs> incoming. Wait a sec. What says crew? <laughs> employees. <laughs> pups. Uh, officer. Now banned. <laughs> See, that, that is just an abuse of power. Well, you would know. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> if you had the permissions, you'd be kicking people left, right, and centre. No. No, yeah, you wouldn't. You so would. You tell him, Matty. How am I the mud abuser? You always just buy the big car. You'll fill it up eventually. Passing numbers increase in time. Which is the big tax one? Well, this whole 60. Well, that's an 84 one that cost 5,800. It's not a lot of difference. Well, it's about a third bigger with 50% more money. Oh, okay. It takes 84 instead of 60, but it costs an extra two grand. The three car packs shut along your line. There's a very definite rush hour pattern. Hmm. Bob the Builder, thank you for eight months. is nearly here. <laughs> How do you know? 145 to 345. Oh, the excitement. A massive two-hour window, though. What's that about? I love it. It changed them there. Like, if you want... You used to, they used to be able to get next day by one for free, but you have to pay for that now. The next day prime is it's now by 10 o'clock. Is it is it the same model, so you can just plug it straight in? Yeah, exactly the same. I should just be able to turn it on and it should just work. Mm. In theory. But I'll probably do the stopover during the hour break. I love it when it tells you how many stops away it is. You can stop the driver. Yeah, like, DPD shows you a map of where, where they yeah. are and how many stops they've got to do. So does my Amazon around where I am. Like yeah, it does here, but... 40 stops, it tells you where it is. Yeah, my, here is when it gets to less than 10, it'll come up. Stopped for a fusey pups. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it's, it's where it needs to be. It's back in the logging. But...
Still waiting for Pups to perform at the O2. <laughs> you might wait a while. I reckon I, reckon I could hire a, hire a pub or a town hall and sell that out. I don't think I'm ready for the O2 yet. Although, weirdly, my second parcel from Amazon is due between two and four. Oh, is that your juice? That's my Ritz crackers. Oh, that's your crackers, okay. I'm assuming they're on two different two different bands. I don't think I've ever had a problem with DPD. Is it just the one I'm picking up from Ella? Um, stand by, stand by. No, you've got one, two, three. Oh, hang on, two of those might be yours. There's only one. Yeah, I've got two here. Is it just five, seven, four, one, oh, I'm picking up? No, you've got three. Yeah, but two I've already brought with me. There's one. New yeah, and one. there's three there at the change. No, you've look, got... there's the two I brought with me and then the one that I'm adding on. So three in total. Oh, is your train empty? Yes, because I've left two while I go oh. and get this one. So there's just three yeah. in total I'm bringing, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I don't need to stop here. Nope. That's fine. That's why I set the lines so you can carry No, on. I mean, for um, passenger. There's no passengers for Ella. So, yeah, I'll just keep going through. I will set the switches so that you can bypass me as I'm dropping passengers off. Just emptied the coal wagon down at the depot. You look at a couple, you can't actually tell if it's disconnected. It doesn't show you when you hover over it. The limits of people in multiplayer. Ooh, I don't know. Was it 64? I don't know. I honestly okay. don't know. I feel like I've just been making numbers up. I'm just going to check quickly. Recommend 16, but you can go up to 32. Recommend 16 maximum. Stop maximum is 32, but they recommend 16, because I'm mm. guessing server lag and stuff. Well, good luck if you've got 32 friends. <laughs> They probably have like Discord servers with people who 
want to do a Vatsim style train run. Probably. Like have a logistic manager and stuff. There you go. So people have actual railroad companies on Discord, yeah. Not surprised. Can't imagine 32 people trying to get up and down this single track though. It would require some good coordination from the signal. Who said that? If they've unlocked this whole map. You, also do, you can also just have a dedicated robot function in the city. Hey, you need it. I wouldn't want that job though, the first two players in it. It'd be chaos for 32 people shouting down the Discord, I'm on my way to Ella! <laughs> do you have your umbrella? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not a game, it's a sim. <laughs> Switch it, which year has been changed so you can bypass me. Are you stopping at Whittier? Yeah, that's where all the passengers want to go. Cool. I'd love to know why, why that person chose it for changing. It was all just a big pond. You've gone a bit quiet again. Sorry. Um, just that rich energy on that guy's username. It was all just a big pond. Uh, Man of Lords has been on my list for months, Fedium. And I've written to the dev twice, and he's ignored me. But Pop oh, says I might be able to contact him via Twitter. Yeah, he's like, I, pretty much every day he posts on Twitter. Oh, did you see the cool time lapse feature he added, Paul? No, but I've seen him use it video, so I assumed he had something. So he added, per, he added it permanently into the game where you can like have a time lapse of your village, bro. What was it that used to do that? There was a game, um, wasn't Ammo. Might have been one no. of the sieves. You build it and then... Oh, it was Frost Frostpunk. Do you remember? At the end of Frostpunk, yes. when you completed it, it would show you your city time-lapse just growing. It was fantastic. And it was unexpected. You didn't know it was in there. You played the game and suddenly it went, look what you did. <laughs> there you go. Someone said he's actually on Twitter, otherwise hooded. Hooded what's, horse. What's hooded horse? I have no idea what the digital is. What's... What's plan two comes out in 2050, right? The publisher, ah. Yeah, Frostpunk 2 is coming out. I, I, I'm... I'm a bit wary of whether they've got that right. I hope they've got it right, Frostpunk 2. What, you telling me you're nervous after they spent a year just travelling and posting dev updates of them travelling? Mm hmm. I am nervous, yeah. In the same way that, um, what was it called? That Lydia game, version Trans one and version two, oh, Transocean. There was such a different thing. Yeah, Power Wash Sim has it, you are right. That's a game I've not played in a while. I could certainly try Frostpunk 2 when it comes out. Do you know how much it is? No. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. To be honest, that's not triple A price, so 
I thought he was going to say 50 quid. And it's 57 pounds if you want the Dulux. There you go, so that's like two dollars a ticket, isn't it? 170. Everything should be set for you just to go straight in. Well, it is, apart from there being a car in the way. Yeah, uh, I can drag that car backwards a bit more and move it into the next one. If you could pull that back before I get there, it means I can yeah, fly no, shunt these, these in. Otherwise, I'll, yeah, no, they'll it's... smash into that. Yeah, then I've got two to add to it as well. Yeah, no, so I'll move it into the second lane. Well, you've got about a minute. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm going to slow down because... I'm nearly there. I can see you. The gifted sub thing is, I don't think anyone knows how that works. What's that? Uh, someone said... Uh, he got gifted a sub. I'm no longer a follower and I haven't watched your streams in a good year or two. Gifted sub seems to be broken. It's a personal setting for you, Ilofa. Like, whether you want to be gifted subs from channels that you don't follow is one of your settings. So if you've got it that turned off, you'll get gifted subs from channels you don't follow. Uh, you better stop back there, I think, Knight. Right, pups. Okay, the cars are on the way to you. Oh, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oops. He had one job. Head of logistics. And now he's gone quiet. He's going to say something Ooh. like his internet went. <laughs> <laughs> you can almost hear it coming. Excuses. Perfectly timed disconnect, I would say. How do we even rail that? Rail that? I can't remember. No clue. Okay, right. Well, hmm. Oh, I, did I set that thing back after me? I'll park here for a bit. I'm not entirely sure how to re-rail these. Shift R, is it? First person next to the wagon. Shift R. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
we might get a fee on these. On PC, apparently. Hey. PC has suffered an issue. Suffered an issue. PC just went. It suffered a skill issue. That's what his PC did. My PC suffered a skill issue. <laughs> What's the damage on that? 22% damage on that car. I imagine that's coming out of our bottom line. Okay. I'm moving it out of the way now. You see, just shut yourself down. It's back on, so we're back in a second. It just sounds oh, like no. a skill issue, doesn't it? To me. I will continue onwards. the excuses hello All right yes i have no idea what happened to my pc for a minute well 22 percent damage to the car is what happened in the game <laughs> pc screens just went black and then my pc turned on and seven percent damage to the, the locomotive my loco's strong it will be fine that's what I was getting in um, emergency. My screens would just go blank and Discord would die. But it would come back on again after. Lol, Matty. <laughs> Celebratory bunting. Anamichi, thank you for a thousand bits. Is this all we got to do? I think this is the end of the switch list. Yeah, it's the end of the day. Oh, boy. I assume it'll show us a breakdown of fees or whatever. It does. If you press the second icon on the top right, it's the console and it will have everything in there yeah but we don't know how much it's going to charge us for the damage to the car does it or is it listed in there i'm pretty sure it lists it in there and it also lists it in the uh the house one under railroad finance we paid 13 dollars to the to the engineer apparently what engineer well, we have three engineers just sat in the shed, don't we? Oh, yeah. It says um, $5 damage for that one. $5? Yes. Yeah, what, to the car? Uh, payment, yeah. Payment was 63 minus $5 damage, 58, to WM57410. Which is... Yeah, looks right. Oh, no. No, yours. That was... It's 206, no, is, is that one? 206778 is the one that got damaged. Okay, that one's not listed. Oh, 
I think I'm out of the way here. It won't charge you because it's your hopper, someone says. Oh, is that? We own that. Oh, yeah, that's the coal hopper. So oh, do yeah, we have to pay the yard to repair it then? Yeah, well, that might come back repaired when they fill it up. <laughs> I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Okay, are we end of day territory? Yeah. Let me just check the milestone list before we do that. That's phase one of three, that. Uh, Bryson to Fontana, so maybe that will complete and it'll go to the next phase. Yeah, the next one we can purchase is seven and a half grand. Do I have to save this or does it automatically save? I can't remember. I'd hate to lose all that progress. Okay, right. Settings. Sleep. Paid $150 for one car of coal. Oh, our balance is 2712. We've got paid 1400 in freight. Right, Paul. Right, dolphin. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I was a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to go to the bridge site and bring all of them back. I don't see much spawn down at the interchange, though. No, that hopper's still damaged. Is it full you of got... coal? It is, yes. Yeah, it's full of coal. So you got two going out to Bryson. All the orange ones I can deal with. Yeah, it's just two to buy, which I can obviously do. If Paul wants to just go and get those other ones and bring them back. Oh, fine, I'll just have it there now. Just typically that the two green ones are in the middle of the rest. I think I'm just going to update the switch list. That log train needs to move, it's empty. No eyes. Uh, right, no, how are we going to get you to get these? Right, so the fir all the first batch of orange are all one consist now. I've just detached it from the right. green. Right, go are you forward. Which so, way are you facing? Go forward. Uh, do, you want to, do you want me to move those? or? Yeah, just go forward. And then I'll get you to drag those into I'll get you to hook up, then put them back and then put them in the next side so you can grab the two that you need. Yep, fine. While you do that I'll set up the AI to be able to throw away. Experimental car update optimization. The heck is that? I'm sure you can this bit. Um, um, oops. What have you done? I've, I didn't untip the Ella thing on the passenger thing, so I've had first passengers <laughs> sleep overnight <laughs> in my garage. I need to open my door. The camera's overheated. Oh, except, except he's chucking it with rain down outside, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> what happened to the sunshine? Do you know what you need, Paul, for when this happens? You just need to like button on OBS just to put a picture of you with a microphone. Connected. Right, go for it. Grill rear railed one car, Paul. Yeah, it's the one that you derailed. No, no, no. Right. I just, I just oh. derailed mine because I was going oh. too quickly, I'm focusing on other things. 
the mistakes happened. Oh, can we get a picture of a squirrel with a microphone? That could be what Paul puts on his screen every time his camera goes. Um, I mean, we, we've got the ability to do that. It's weird. We've got rain forecast out, four o'clock sunshine. I don't remember there being rain in the forecast at all. I just made that up. They did a virtual avatar. Oh god, they're terrible. You know what we haven't checked in a while? What's the AI's uh, coal and water level? That's very true, actually. Good job, it's fine. I just. <laughs> right, no, do you want me to play that switch for you? Please. There you go. True, egregious. I wonder why people are travelling back from their bank holiday getaway, wishing they'd never bothered. Stuck in traffic thinking that was great. It was cold, windy, and rainy. <laughs> All weekend has been nice and. Even today, it's not bad where I am. I wouldn't say it's been nice. It's been fairly cloudy and not exactly warm. Oh, it's been nice and warm where I am. What, you, what kind of temperatures have you had? I've had like 15, 16 degrees where I am. With clear blue skies. <laughs> um, pups. It's night. Why well, am I going down the same track? You shouldn't be. I clicked it. I'm just telling you what's happening. Oh, did you not go back far enough so it just threw the switch back to its normal place? Oh, so it's my fault? Yeah. Okay. Right, you go back and then I'll have to throw the switch again one time. That's the AI gone. Yeah, what I need, Smoky Sass, is just a little PNG of a, a chair. Just put it there where I'm sat. Like an empty <laughs> chair. <laughs> People just think I'm not there. <laughs> Oh, the boy. AI's gone up to logs. I had to repair my locomotive when I get back. What's it on? 69%. Also, yeah. I've just derailed again. <laughs> I'm literally not paying attention. I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> right, I double check this time, like you're good to go forwards, backwards, whatever way you're trying to space them. Forward. The uh, tender car's on 19%. <laughs> I was thinking the one on the far right. I was thinking that one as well. Yeah, I was thinking that one too. Well, after the stream, Paul, we will show you. Definitely the far right. It, it, it has to be the far right. You're right. I've sent it to you. Oh, he's not concentrating enough as it is without looking. That's what I mean. Let's see. I'm, <laughs> yeah, <great. laughs> I'm all putting that on the screen. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Good to go, no. Why not, Paul? You said the far right. I think that is a lovely image. All that hard work you did, Knight. I mean, I just literally typed a message and it did it for me. All that hard work, Googling. No, it wasn't Google. Oh, you it didn't go on the chat GPT thing, did you? No. I went into a demo Discord that we've got. Put an empty chair with a squirrel in. <laughs> oh, he answers where we stopped. <laughs> the best bit is I can't move anything until Knight's moved out of the way, so I'm just stuck in a shed. Cool. Anyway, sorry, what's going on?
Well, you're meant to be driving a train. It's driving, it's moving. Yeah, now it is. It was moving all along, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm thinking the middle one now. Definitely the middle one. <laughs> I don't need to send the ball because you can see it. I don't, I don't think Paul's going to go to the server to get into it. What? I, I'm going to send you it, Paul. Hang I'm on. on the server, but I don't know which room you put it in. Twitch, in Twitch announcements for some reason. This first sound like came up because it's only a demo. <laughs> it's not, not active anymore. Yeah, the problem is it needs to be a thing on its own with a green screen background or just no background. I'm not sticking a square image there. We can modify the image. You need to put in your thing with a green background or with no background. What am I going to Bryson for me picking something up? You need to go to the bridge site. We need to say green screen. Oh, that's amazing! I fixed it with aircon. <laughs> I'm doing fifty two. Oh, my God, that's a bit quick. <laughs> Wait for the... I've derailed again! I'm not on 0%. Uh, my tender's on 0% condition. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. Is there a repair hot up there? No. I there is. I think there is one at Bryson. Is there? Because you can, you so. can swap into the other, the other one that's up there, then. Yeah, but it won't... Well, I can if there's a repair station. There's a... Uh... A there rail is, uh, thingy. I don't think there's a repair centre. There is. There's Bryson repair tracks, but we don't have any uh, engineers up there, do we? Nope. You have to hire a person in there. I mean, consider this is on zero percent. It's doing okay. Uh, yes. As it explodes. It's only the tender on zero percent. I think it might have lost coal or something. I'm not sure. Now, what I need is a picture of a, a Sony camera, like, on fire, as if it's overheated. Hang on, I, I can try that. Does it cost to hire the engineer in the yard? Like, is there a fee? A hiring well, we're paying, fee? We're paying free right now, and they're costing us $13 a day. 13 Yes. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I said camera on fire, and that's what it produced. <laughs> that's, that's just weird. Uh, serotonin, thank you for 14 months. Twister, thank you for four.
I honestly think I'd be better off just going on Google and typing that. Is there anything else up at Bryson that needs picking up or just this lot? Uh, Bryson Freight House. There's a couple more up there, yes. At Bryson? Yes. Amazon have arrived. Mm. Your mouse hype. Bryce and Freight House, so that's a night. Oh, mm, yeah, okay. I've got to go, I've got to drop one to drop off there. I'll pull this one out into the sidings. Uh, yes, we're back on the railroads. Uh, you say you're on the way to Bryson. No, I am. I am. I'm in track all at the moment. So. I am. Going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I would I never am. do that myself. I am, where am I? I'm approaching Ella. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to be in track one. I'm going to pick that one up near the station there, but there's another one here as well that needs picking up. Yeah, I may have been doing 38 in a 30. Ridiculous. Someone remembers meeting you at the Scania factory. A wicked smart. Thank you for 21 months. Uh, MK on, you remember me some at the Scania factory, man. That was, what, 2015, I guess? Yeah, I remember that. Good day. I have got a stop at there as well. Okay. I haven't seen that stuff for years, Will. I used to enjoy armor stuff more than DayZ, to be fair. Armor was a blast. Still getting updates in it, armor. Yeah, people still play armor on these big servers. I think you used to do it, um, Cyanide. You know, the guy created Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to play it with Womble. And uh, he used to put a server together. And the guy used to run, what, I forget what they called him, like, um, into the Z. It's like a nickname for God. Like Zeus, I think they call him. And he's the one that just makes stuff happen on the server, like events and things. I'm afraid he just had new DLC. Are you coming to Bryson to drop something off night or? Yes. Got one for the Bryson Freight House, FR1, and the Hardwoods R1. I'm on the move again. And there is a carriage at Ella that needs to go back. I've got to go up there at some point. Whether okay. I get there before you, I don't know. Well, you need to let me know when you're approaching Bryson because right now I'll be on the main line. I can stop at Gov Island. Get out of your house. I'm not coming. That. I need to come out onto the main line and then reverse back in to pick up another car. Okay. Well, I'm literally just leaving Ella, so you got a bit of time here. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of time. And I'm still at the depot moving <laughs> moving trailers around. Thank you, Will. Yeah, we've got signals, but you know. Are we using them? I've not gone through any reds at all. No, me neither, because I've never looked. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have signals where I am. We prefer the verbal communication and checking the map. The signals are purely cosmetic. <laughs> cosmetic? Well, if it's just you and a bunch of AI, then yeah.
you got two choices. You either wait at Gov Island or I'll wait while you come from there. Um, if you're about to, if you're ready, I'll stop at Gov Island at some point. I'm just going to connect to a car and then I'll be heading down there, but... How many cars have you got on board? Two. I'll just keep going then because I'm quite heavy. Roger. Seventeen cars right now. Which track you wanted to go down? Track one. Um, I need to stop at the station. That's track one then, so I'll put you on that. I'm at Gov Island now. Yep, it's fine. Okay, you're set up to go straight to the station. Perfect. Local 5 is going to need some coal, some water, and a lot of repair. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what happened, Paul? Uh, well, what happened was my, my camera overheated and it caused my loco to crash and derail and speed. How, how ungrateful is that camera, Paul? It's just weird. Almost as bad as your PC. Yeah, I still don't know what happened with my PC. Same thing that happened to my loco. <laughs> Decided enough was enough. No. Oh. It's another mogul, yeah. And then 39 mile hour. Okay, I'm just going to go for a bio break. My train stopped waiting for you. Ah. Uh. And if you're anywhere near the depot, every line is occupied at the moment. Couldn't be further away if we tried. I thought I'd just let you know because I thought I was big enough to fit into this, uh, small enough to fit into the side. Turns out I'm five carriages too long to fit into a side. And what is it, Paul? Says? He's got a 17 to come and bring it down to you. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to fit. I... As long as he takes the second side in at the depot, he'll be able to get out. I'm guessing he's bringing everything, so I will have nothing but passengers to come back with. Although I technically I don't need to come back with those passengers. No eyes. I could just stay up here if that is going to be of any help. Size is not important, pups. I can be more out of context if someone trying. Is a bigger kebab a better kebab? No, because it could be a what? It could be a rubbish kebab. Exactly. Oh, I'm an idiot. No argument from me. What have you done? Went into the wrong side, and I forgot I had the coal one on the front. Do you know Kanye West? Do I, I know that... someone with millions personally? Let me think. No. What even gives the impression... That I would. And welcome back. My camera uh, character's freaking out. <laughs> so excited. 
He likes to put the pink uh, carriage. It's weird he stopped doing it. He only did it when you came past in a pink carriage. <laughs> but have you got everything that needs to go back? I, I think so. Because we're just debating whether I should just drop these two off and then stay up here. And then I can bring something back for the next day. Potentially, yeah. Wouldn't know. Because we've done a passenger run in one direction. Do we need to do it in both directions? No, I believe as long as it's one way. Well, you still got paid if you did come back to Ella with it. Because there's probably a lot of packs though, isn't there? So you'd still get another $120 coming back. But it's up to you. Go and see, thank you for 89 months. You need to pick up passengers from every station once every 24 hours. So you do need to pick up packs from there. Okay. What happens if you don't? You just lose a bit of reputation. reputation if I'm where does it show our reputation? Right. It, I did used to know where this was. Oh, so the house and then railroad. On the left-hand side, overall, we're 103. Right. Operation Safety 76. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's what happens when your camera goes. And your PC. Base cost discount 25%. Equipment discount 10. Speed re repair speed bonus 50%. Oh, I hope I've made my train short enough to fit into this. Operation safety is determined by the number of derails in the last five days. Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, it shows our inventory that we've got four items here. Diesel stand, coaling tower. Oh, Bryson Bridge Phase 2 is now available. Cost $2,000. Deliver eight cars to Bryson Bridge site. Might as well start it. Well, yeah, because they won't load into them. Oh my god. Purchase tractor silver, 10 grand. You what, mate? That was only seven and a half last time. Oh, it's gone to seven and a half. No, it is 10, but seven and a half with a 25% discount. This is where our money's going. Wow. On milestone purchases, it sucks capital. You're expected to like have capital to buy your own locos, and then you're expected to have it to expand your railway. We can get a 30 grand loan maximum. Near the depot yet, yeah, or uh, no, your miles won't be. I'm near Gob Island. Because every line is full at the moment. a loco with more performance when you get to silver since it moves your interchange down there as well. Oh my god. Am I a gradient here because I'm struggling? I feel back.
Wait a minute. So our interchange is currently near Whittier. And when we get the line to silver, it'll put our interchange all the way back. Look where that is. I say we hold off on that for a minute. That is nuts. I like my interchange where it is. Someone, someone said if you press control, uh, shift and question mark on the track, it will tell you the gradient. 0.9%. 0 0.6. 1 1.2, yeah, 1.2%. That's what I went through. Yeah, we'll definitely hold on from that one. The thing is, after we've done this, that will be the only one left. And we can't get any others, I don't think, until we've done that. Oh, no, hang on. No, no, no. Once we do this, we will unlock a few, like a Larker Junction. And build Fontana Lake Bridge. Okay. Yeah, we will actually unlock some stuff when we do this one. Further details on the CTC system is forthcoming in a later edition of this guide. We've given you something, but we don't tell you how to use it. Again now. So ideally what we want is to expand our western operation to another passenger run, maybe a Larker Junction. Because that way we can get longer PAX runs out of it without moving our uh, interchange. Yeah. A Larker Junction. Could be helpful when working the coal mine. Hmm. Oh, there you go. So when we've done Bryson Bridge, we'll get a Larker Junction. And then when we've done that, we'll get a Larker Branch. And a Larker Branch says they want us to ship copper ore on the railroad. Doing so will enable their company town to flourish, bringing new freight and passenger opportunities. And if you look where Alarka Junction is, it's basically southwest of Brighton. So Bright oh, Bryson, yeah. so that should give us a decent passenger run from Whittier to Alarka. Hardwoods. 
Hyper like Branch will turn your packs run into a Larker, Cochrane, Hemingway, Bryson, Ella, Whittier. I mean, that's going to need somebody every single day to do that packs run. But that'll probably net quite a lot of money. By that point, though, you'll want to have a bigger PAX car, I think. Uh, Pups, you're up with you, yeah? Up here. He's gone AFK. Well, he put himself on auto drive, hasn't he? Grab my train, please. Where's your train? His train. Oh, his train, not mine. Oh, you're Anna. kidding me. Oh, his train's coming straight at me. Has he got PC issues again? I'm assuming so. Because I'm about to say his train. Which about one? Which so, I don't know which one he is. He's number three. He's coming from Ella. From Whittier, sorry. Yep, runaway train's going to derail. 100%. Yeah, it's derailed. Ooh. Is it derailed? No, it was close. It's beginning to sound like a skill issue, though. Yeah. He hasn't. Uh, it's not working. Yeah, it's just gone offline. Yeah, it's like I checked because I thought to myself, I wonder if anybody's coming up from Whittier. And I saw a train moving into Whittier. And then I asked him, and he didn't respond. And then it just kept going. Yeah, and as you said that, and I was thinking, why is he not responding? Looked up and saw the DMs. Yeah, his PC is obviously playing April Fools on him. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is, Eddie. I wouldn't have thought PS PSU problem. You'll save your running three sixty packs cars from Witty to Bryson. I presume the passengers pay more when you take them longer. Do they pay more when you take them faster? Nah, Matt, it could be all kinds of things. You could have a dodgy BIOS, you could have Windows driver issues, you could have PSU, RAM, like Depends on the nature of the problem. Like, is it blue screening? Is it shutting down? What's going on?
train is struggling with this gradient. You still at price? Yeah, because up at the uh, hardwood, there's three that need to come back. Yeah, all right. And, that, and of course, they're not in the right up for coming back. Never are. You've got to shuffle them first. Yeah, so I'm just dealing with all that at the moment. There's puppy number three. It says 0.4%, 9 deg. So, 10 deg. 10 degree gradient. Can't be right, surely. Oh, it's the curve. It's a 9 degree curve, 0.2% incline. Gotcha. Figure out where we're going to drop this lot. Uh, Chris Knight 4, have a good one. Poppy's claiming it's a GPU driver issue. Yeah, I can't remember what graphics card he's got, can you? Uh, NVIDIA 2080. You can download the installer and tell it to do a fresh install. Yeah, you can take a box to a clean install, can't you? Yeah. 
but I think I don't know if it removes all your settings and stuff. It does, unfortunately. Can be a very annoying. Two of the streamers stopped streaming today because of crashing and then getting a window update an hour later. That's weird. I was a bit low on coal. <laughs> 1.2 tons. 2.8 left. Pops is in mod room. Hello again. Hello, puppy. I'm now on my late I'm now on the latest drivers. Okay. What was you on before? Uh I think I was two or three drivers behind the latest one. Jeez. Which is weird because we were playing Ready or Not last night, which is what I would say quite an intensive game on the GPU. and didn't have a problem. Maybe because they're saying about the emergency, so that's not GPU intensive, and yet that's what my computer has a problem with. Well, currently my computer has a problem with this. <laughs> what? What's the symptom? It's literally just black screen, and then my PC shuts down. Yeah, it's definitely graphics. Mm -hmm. If you get a black screen before. Just and I'm... double check the cable connection as well on your graphics card. Yeah, I will card. do. I immediately message Knight going, Grab my train, please, because it was moving. <laughs> yeah, well, Paul was talking to you. He didn't respond, and it was only then I looked up and saw the DM. <laughs> I jumped in your train and hit the brakes because it was coming to come straight at me. <laughs> It's not overheating. Well, it can be, Beaker. If your power supply can't supply the GPU with enough power, then it will go black quite often. How big's the PSU? 850. And there's only a 2080 in my PC. It's just weird how it started on this game, and yesterday it was fine running a lot more intensive games. Um, Pops, how do I tell us to go carry on this AI again? Uh, just 
flick the switch. It's the because the switch is wrong. Oh, I see. Burn all it that way, and then they can just drive straight into me. Cool. Well, by then I'll be in the yard. I suppose I better get my uh, zero percent tender repaired. Yeah. Oh, you scumbag thing. Uh, so you also need to click on your loco and tell it where it's at. So if you go to equipment, it says repair destination. You have to choose where you want it repaired for it to do anything. And on the tender as well. You have to do both. You don't need to set the sale destination. The what? I would get, you just set the sale destination. So if you park that in the interchange and it hits 6am, it's going to sell. Is Loco 4 set correctly for that? Because I forgot we have to do that. Um, where is Loco 4? Exactly. All right. Loco 4 is the AI. Let our three engineers who've been slacking off get on with it now. What's left on the old list here? Can you not set the clean? Can I just click clean up and get rid of all that nonsense? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So there's four or five things coming back to Whittier Exchange. Do we know where they are? I'm oh, grabbing. Because I can't do much right now. My train's in repair. I'm grabbing some, I think I'm grabbing the rest. Sawmill. I, mean, I can grab those on the way back. Oh, tie up, I didn't know that. So you have to set it every time you want it to repair. Wow. Welcome back, welcome back. Sorry about the uh, the end of the stream on the previous session, but the I think the game did to my machine what it kind of did to pups. <laughs> it seemed to crash the graphics driver and OBS just completely stopped streaming. And uh, when I fired the game up, the game was just... I had to kill it, I fired the game up, and it wouldn't start properly. So in the end, I had to reboot the PC. So I said, well, there's not much point coming back with five minutes left and I need to PC restart anyway. So I thought, well, let's just leave early. <laughs> so hopefully that won't happen again. But if the stream suddenly dies, then you know what it is. Anyway, we've shuffled some stuff around. That's Knight's uh, train. We've got most of the stuff back in the yard. Right. Is anybody here an expert in this game? Because if you are, I have a question. Does anybody know what this is? This option here. East Whittier Interchange. It says extra service at 1550. If I click that. Does that mean instead of changing this at 6 a.m., it will change at 15.50? What does that do? How does that work?
You get an extra delivery of stock at the time specified. What's the pros and cons of that then? So, okay, so if I click that at 1550, it would actually reservice us. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It's for when you get too many cars at a time. It means a lot more work to do each day. Well, as it stands, we're finishing all of our work after like two hours. It's optional, you can safely ignore it. Fair enough. Uh, Trixum, thank you for 23 months. Adobe, thank you for 35, by the way. Uh, Heapster, I think you re resubbed right when I crashed. So if you're still here, thank you for 103 months. And uh, Supermarket Sim, we kind of more or less topped out on. Yeah, I don't understand why Nut Slammer purged your message, Tyrope. That's really weird. It must be the colon thing. I don't know. That's bizarre. All right, let's get Pupster and Knight down. Yo, yo. I know why the bot's doing it, but we can't fix it. It's a limitation of the bot. Cool. Right, have we got anything else to shunt, or do you want me to end the day, effectively? So we were just discussing this. Do we grab the one from Edda quickly, hoping it... And then, or leave it and hope it don't penalise us for grabbing it, leaving it? I thought you were sorting that out. Because I was just going to leave it and then grab it tomorrow. You have three choices. One, go and get it. Two, leave it and go to tomorrow. Three, go and get it, but we skip to 1550 and redo the inventory. No, Captain Flint. Like I just said, it's a limitation of the bot. Thank you, Real Real JS One. Have you seen the Win Wing FCU? I have seen it, and I got an email today from uh, what's it called, the Mini FCU. They've just dispatched it, so I'll be getting a Mini FCU very soon. Does that mean flying streams again? Yeah, I have no intention of not flying, but it'd be nice to get that bit of equipment on there. Especially considering it's now integrated into the Phoenix properly. Okay, that's good, because Tom had a bet you wouldn't fly again for four months. Did he now? Yep. What makes him think I won't fly for four months? Because... When you last flew, not this time around, but the one before that, you flew for a couple of weekends and then you stopped for a four-month period. You know, if I stream for a weekend, you know what happens? If I stream yeah, flying for a weekend. You playing that Is this all now, you yeah? play now? You just do flight sim now. When are you going to play this game, that game, this game, and that game? That's what I get. I'm not allowed to fly for more than one weekend. I get complained at. You've played this game all day, Paul. Does that mean you're a full-time railroad assimilator now? Nobody complained when I streamed trucking every Sunday for over <laughs> seven years. Nobody ever came in on Sunday and went, oh, you're just doing trucking every Sunday now. When are you going to play my other favourite game? Nobody complained. But, oh, I go flying and it's like, oh, here's the flight sim streamer now. Don't forget supermarket sim, Paul. You're a supermarket sim streamer now as well. Come on. Battle cattle, thank you for the tier three, sir. With 108 months, you fly too much. <laughs> uh, JJ Mile, thank you for almost 100 months as well. 99 months, so close. Lol. Danny Brooks, thank you for 58 months. You played Supermarket Sim all weekend. Does that mean you're playing that full time now? It does. I'm a full-time supermarket sim streamer. <laughs> All right, do you want me to skip the day then? Yeah, what go are we doing? Are we doing the? Are you doing the hour run, or do you want me to skip the day? Uh, skip the day. Skip the day. Okay. Day skipped. Wee. Six a.m. at the Big Brother uh, house. Twenty-three cars at the interchange. Yeah. So I need 
all off the orange. Oh, there's one green right at the end. Yeah, it might send us fixed. Oh, I can deal with that. Right. Uh, these all go into the... Right, so Knight, can you take the first three with your passenger train? First three, yeah. Right, then Paul, you need to take the next three, six, nine... Nine, I believe? Still facing the wrong way. Come on, Knight, bring, bring Where the train Where am I going? In. To the front or the back of this thing? Uh, just stop there. Actually, no. What's going to be easier for you? Where's the bridge site? Do you have to reverse it in? The bridge is back up at, uh, what's his face? And I have to reverse it in, yeah. Okay, so you need to switch tracks then, don't you, and push it? Well, the easiest way for me to switch tracks... Are you it's staying good. there, Knight? Uh, I need, yeah, I'm going to be picking these three up and coming back out. Okay. I suppose you can jump forward, like, just so I can get through. Or do you need uh, I'll try. You see that? Re like. Reverse back a slip track, or you go forward a bit. <laughs> How many tons is that with all of them, Knight? Uh, I don't know, because they're not connected at the moment. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll just go back. I'll, right, Knight, you need the first three. Right, so take them. You, you can go once pulled out the way. Then I need to grab my half and put him out of the way so Paul can get his half. Is that tea or coffee? coffee. Looks like tea, Ash. Put my three on the switch, please. Oh yeah, why am I trying to slowly move forward? Let me teleport because everything's down here at the moment. This one... It's the sawmill. You've got an oil there, by the way, Knight. I don't know if you know. Yeah, I don't know where I go. It says it's six miles away, which is the same as the hardwoods, so I'm assuming they're next to each other. Oops, which one am I taking here? The green or the orange? The green. Gotta grab the orange out of the way. I'm just grabbing them now. If you can stop before the junction. Ella House ER1. Hmm. So one of them goes to Ella then on the where you are. Yeah. I just wanted to come back from Ella as well, so that works quite well. Um, In right. fact, that's replacing the one that's there. Oh, yeah. Is that the uh, manufacturing one? It, as you pass through Ella, it's the one on the right-hand side, just, as you, uh, just after you've gone in. It's a lot of backwards and forwards oh, to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get into it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of faff, that. You can literally only get your loco and that car in. Because whoever designed the sidings at Ella needs to be shot. Let me move this lot out your way, Paul. <laughs> By the way, Pups, you're half on coal. Uh, Dumbest, thank you for 81 months. Apache 66, why don't you do any trucking? You always do trains. <laughs> Stenzel is a big pain at tier five. It orders five cars, but um, can only unload three. Has gone. Oh, not again! You have to get his train. Which yeah, I I've, I've got it. I've got it. Captain skill issue strikes again.
Has he been like playing all lunchtime, all through the break, and yet somehow he's, he's left it on all through the break. I don't think he's been doing much. Puppy down, puppy down. I bet you, right now, he's punching his desk. Not through anger, in passion. What are you trying to say? That it's a passionate dolphin. I mean, I don't know, like, he needs to look at what else he's got open and just close it. No matter what it is, just, just literally have the game in Discord. Unfortunately, he has just messaged me, unfortunately, only three of the five words are transmissible on your stream. And it says, I'm getting something, something off. I think you're right. The way to respond to that message is sounds like a skill issue. Yeah. I've asked him what he's getting, what air messages. I bet he's got his browser open and stuff. I don't think he's getting Rainbow Slaw ever again. to move the um, AI train when I go past. Arsenal, how you doing? You joined in on Yacht 3. Nice. Yeah, different username back then. Lots of people renamed their names over the years. I didn't. I kept mine. Name dates back to modern dial up days. Impious. How's that exactly? Using Alta Vista. 
I remember AltaVista. That was the search engine to use before Google came along. Why is he stopped? I mean, I don't know where you are, Knight, but I'm through Whittier at the moment. I am at the 30s just before Ella. It wasn't just the 56k modem that wobbled. It was a 19.2 before that. And then the 9600 board before that. The 19.2 changed it quite a bit. 56 sounded very similar to John's playing 3D Mark. <laughs> He's going to come back and like, I don't understand this. It was absolutely fine, ready or not. I've just run 3D Mark. It's absolutely fine. And yet with this game, it just crashes. It is annoying when you get issues like that. It's very frustrating. Just trying to track it down, isn't it? Yeah. It's just... Like when I had those issues, you know, with streaming and stuff. Crashing during iRacing, oh, yeah. that's one of the worst things. I was trying to explain teletext to my kids and it looked at me like I was crazy. Remember Bamboozle on teletext? <laughs> Right, that's a Fredo egg gone right there. I now have one left. The last Fredo egg. In the world. Exciting is one word, Hannah. How many did it start off with? Well, we started off with six. They weren't all mine. And then three of them got eaten. And then they bred back to six. And then I ate one. And then I ate another one. And then I just take that one and then I've got that one as well. So yeah. Freddo chocolate is a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, true story, cool tiger. How cheap is it? Am I safe to go straight through Ella as the point set? Yeah, because mine right mine was straight through cool. as well. Cool. I'm 
I'm just approaching the bridge 30. I'm just going through Ella. Cool. Hey, it's a bank holiday, Kyle, and it's the day before Yachts 10. This is the last day of Yachts 9 today. Bought four bars, 35 pence each before discount. Bought Fredo bars, or eggs. Yeah, fuzzball. It's mind-blowing, isn't it, to think back then you had to go to a library to get stuff. And then the book that you wanted was on loan. Now you just bring up your phone and look for stuff. Never say never, Carl, but at the moment I don't have any plan. Uh, WH 73 months? I'm at Gov Island. It's nice, Galax, how long it took for his mini FCU to come. Like when it was shipped. Because. Like, is it coming from China and it takes weeks? I'm on the waiting list. What, what's your order number, do you know? You can't order at the moment. Oh, I'm right. let you order. It's completely... Still... Uh, completely sold over. out. Yeah. They can only make them at a certain rate. That's the problem. Mm. And I don't think it's helped the fact that Phoenix have now made it compatible. <laughs> well, that's why I now want it. Yeah, that's why I didn't pre-order it in the first place. Most everything was half price. Wow. Yeah, bank card good. Bank holiday Monday is normally half price for the egg, and then they go to seventy-five percent the week after. Apache, that two-year run-up to 2015 was brutal because I was literally doing a 40, 45-hour working day and then streaming on evenings and weekends and doing YouTube videos. I was up till, like, stupid hours editing and then getting up at 6 o'clock, going to work. It was very, very long days, very tiring. Pups has connected. But for how long? Well, I don't know. He's not in the building. No, he's just joined the games room. Now. Just after I finished looking. <laughs> Welcome back, puppy. I'm stress eating Pringles to right, make myself feel better. Did you punch something? No, I've not. I opened a box of Pringles instead. Mate, do you remember you've got your little stress reliever? <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I've been using that as well. Have you got your stress reliever? I do have my stress reliever, yes. Are you squeezing it right now? I am, yeah. Uh, Tom Dray, thank you for six months. I've just passed Gov Island on my way to Bryson. I've got the same keyboard for like 
five years. I will switch the points to track two for you. So you say, if you're going on one, please put me on two. Yeah, we you on two. Because I need to go straight through. Yeah, I will be shortly behind you because mine are up, at the, up towards hard foot again. Right. So you're set. You will be set for track two to go straight through. Now the other side. Can I call? I'm glad I've got a stress on each thing. Adobe, I remember that in War Thunder. That was when War Thunder was good. Yeah, what, what flavour Pringles, pups? Just plain. Plain? As in ready salted. What? It's all I have, okay? Jeez, I'd never buy like ready salted Pringles. I did, and I got gifted them for Easter because I don't eat chocolate. Wow, they remembered you. Yep. That's amazing. It's only because I made them go to the bakery this morning for some fresh bread. How are we doing if a contract says, fun you should say that, Tyrone. <laughs> we kind of forgot all about them, but I think Pups remembered to look through them and we've we maxed them all out again. Yeah, I maxed them out before my game crashed and then my PC went with it. But yeah, I totally forgot that you had to do that. Also, I'd like to point out to the person in chat said I'm the only person to buy UK pring uh, salted Pringles in the UK. That is factually incorrect, otherwise they would stop producing them and selling them in the UK. So there. You've been told. Yeah. You've made Fool. the dolphin angry. Yeah. There's two to bring back from up here. Just put them on the switch list. One is the oil that I'm replaced. I'm replaced. Okay. Well, I have to uh, move the stuff, old stuff, before I can put the new stuff in because I now need both tracks because of the contract here. Because mm. I am a dolphin, Hannah. Why is it dolphin? Ask Paul. It was an April Fool joke this morning. When we basically confirmed, <laughs> announced, if you like, that Pups was having a sex change to a dolphin. And it just kind of, just kind of followed on from there really all day. <laughs> I quite like being a dolphin. It's much more relaxing. I'd love to make the noise. I can't do it though. I can't do it either. <laughs> right, if I'm I always, Go on. I'm always happy. People say I'm always angry. I'm not. I think this Never one angry. goes here.
That's a good one. I like that one. From What's that? Twister. Your blowhole is working overtime with all the PC crashes. <laughs> Right, that drop's done. So, um, where you are, there's the oil tanker to your right that needs to come back. And then there's one at the hardware, which is up the other way. Okay. I'll you're the on the left hand side. Yeah. Where's the other one? They had the chat that's on your left. It leaves you by your screens behind, but behind you, going the other way, basically. So there's one, the old tanker here, and then one back around, further around that corner. To the right, yeah. Okay. And then I've got all the stuff to drop off there. Tanker. Do you say you've got a tanker that goes there? Yeah. Just the one here, isn't there? By the look of it. Yeah.
No uh, speed delivery bonus. It's because it was going back to the interchange. Got all the empties from down there, so heading back towards Bryson. Cool. You tend to run the game one to one until you get all deliveries are done, more likely to get a time bonus. Jeez, that way it works. It's a bit of a con. Yeah. Hop. Time bonuses within 24, 48, 72 in game hours. Hang on, we always do the jobs within 24 hours though. Like, we do every job in the day that we're given it. Displayed on the phone. Where's the contracts page exactly? It's the house and then locations and then where you change tiers. Like for me, it says the sawmill is 8-4-2% for timely delivery. I don't know what that means. 8 4 2%. 8% if you do it within 24 hours. 4% if you do it within 48. And 2% for 72. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Thanks for 45 months. Been lurking a lot like me. Don't mind me. You lurker. Dirty lurker. Is there anything to pick up at Bryson? I don't think so. I didn't see anything. Okay. I'll just take all this back then, right? Yeah. There's, that, there's obviously that one at Ella. Oh, yeah, okay. No bonus for house tracks. What does that mean? Don't get a bonus for any cars that aren't attached to a tiered contract. So the logs to the sawmill. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay, so that's the one that needs to go back. Celebratory bunting. Rainbow slew fund for pups tonight from Adobe 12. 
Uh, Admir, thank you for the $10. Looks like they want to buy your rainbow floor again, pups. <laughs> There's no guarantee that Hassan will deliver, though, is there? And he did such a cracking job last time. Oh, yeah. No, he was bang on time, straight to your house. No messing around anywhere at all. And it arrived all piping hot, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened, Paul. And you left him a stellar review because you could leave all those comments. Hassan was six out of five. Hmm. More like zero point six. <laughs> What did Hassan do? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, he was picking up Pups' kebab and delivering it to his house. And don't. Except, he basically went all around the town doing, like, multiple drops down strange roads, stopping constantly. He even stopped outside of a... Was it another takeaway or a... Another take away. He was clearly doing multi drops for different companies. And by the time Pups got his kebab, it might as well have been cold. Just to let you know, the main line into the depot is currently blocked. It's currently what? Blocked. I have to split everything to the sawmill in half so I can get it into the small sidings. I will be grabbing it. I'm just dropping one off. Four dollar timely bonus. Oh yeah. Can't wait for the teased up that's a while ago where you can have the AI switch to a fusey. Uh what? What does that mean? <laughs> you hate hot cross buns? Wow. Who said that? Dinner for pups. Uh MI6, thank you for your donation. I thought MI6 was meant to be like covert, like hush hush. <laughs> now this guy works at MI6. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You work in retail, you have to date so many of them. Well, if you work in retail, that's not the only thing you have to date. Why do you specifically hate them? That's your job. Do you hate the entire supermarket of food then? <laughs> the 
the main line is clear, but I still need to deliver two carriages. Okay. Yeah, I don't know MI6, MI5, what the difference is, but what happened to MI1, 2, 3, and 4? That's what I want to know. They failed, Paul. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, these are versions of... The <laughs> they were just warm-ups. <laughs> they were like, they were practice runs. I can't remember which way it ran, but MI5, MI6, one is about internal intelligence about stuff coming to our way and the other one is stuff happening elsewhere in the world so See, that's like the difference that's like the difference between the fbi and the cia except they gave mm. their things a bit of a better name so that you wouldn't have to guess don't forget you've got the kingsman as well paul oh yeah <laughs> isn't that a loaf <laughs> <laughs> MI5 is domestic, 6 is foreign, right? So that's basically FBI, CIA, right there. Well, you could tell us, Twister, but then he'd have to kill you, right? So what's the difference between MI5 and NCA then, Andy Led? NCA is an national crime agency, so that's a bit like... Yeah, I get what he's saying, because they, they deal with crime for UK people, whereas MI5 is crime and terrorism from external coming into the country. So they say, who knows what goes on inside them. But that's the same as... The FBI does the same as that, then, as what MI5 does. And probably what the NCA does. Well, the NCA do work cross-border as well, so, yeah. In that case, they're not FBI, then. Like I said, do we actually know what goes on inside those organisations? Don't know what goes on in your organisation, really. I'm just saying. They say it's domestic only, but is it really? They'll check, like, if you join those organizations, they're going to check out every detail of your life. They're going to go through everything. You had a parking ticket when you was 18. There is two to collect just as you get into with here as well. You are. There's two carriages to collect. What? Oh no, 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 not those. They're the ones I'm grabbing. I'm leaving LO just, right now. Just out, just outside uh, by the passenger station. Is that the two you're getting? No, at Whittier. Whittier, yeah. So you know where the passenger station is at Whittier. Yeah. On the right hand side of the building, there's two to collect there. Yeah, they're horrible then. I've got yep. them anyway. I've got to deliver one there, so I'll just grab them as a I remember point. putting them there. They stay there for ages, and they're horrible to put in place. I'm not sure if the traps are set up for you to the trip. Yeah, that's right, M. Hoffman. If Pups ever applied to join MI6, they would literally confront him with footage of what he did outside the Science Museum. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, we can't let you in because 
You see this barrier here? <laughs> <laughs> when I was in London earlier on, it was the History Museum that had more of a queue than the science. Or the Natural History Museum. Yeah. My parents had never been in it, so I said, well, we'll go and have a look. Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's actually a problem. There's not enough scientists coming through from a young age. I mean, I will take I raged at a barrier, but at least I know how to work a QR code. <laughs> Alex! Oh, Alex is not here. He can't defend himself. Um, well, how long did it take him to, to be able to get a ticket for these? I reckon he's 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I don't think it was that long, but it, like we'd all done it and he was still messing about on his phone trying to buy one. But I think that's because, I don't know, maybe because it was a different country or something and the checkout process was different. Yeah. I think there's three here want to be uh, taken out. Oh no! Oh yeah. my God! No. Yeah. It's Guess number one, one three. Yeah, I'll sort it out. The middle one needs to stay. <laughs> I'm just hoping I don't crash. Where's Paul? What a faff! Coming into Whittier and I'm leaving the depot. Oh, yeah. Are you on the inside track closest to the passenger thing, Paul? Uh. I will be unless I can get back and change it. No, that's fine as long as you. Yes, I am. It's too late. Definitely for on that one. Okay. Where are you? Uh, just leaving the depot, but we'll be on different lines, so it's fine. Well, no, we won't, because I have to stop at Whittier. No, I should get there before you do. No, you Actually, won't. maybe not. Maybe you're going to get not there before chance. I do. I'm That's doing 35, and my train feels like... Yeah, you might do. Me. If I slow down, hang on. I'll put you onto that track. And that track. Okay. You'll be on the middle track, and I'll be in the inside. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. I've got to do some shunting around there anyway. Do you know the best bit about the, the ones that need empty and then the middle one needs to stay? That was the least. I mean, that had the most on when I delivered it because I always drag them out and put the new ones at the back. So somehow that unloaded faster than the rest of them. It's the lamest horn. Thank you. Leaving behind seventy passengers this time. Seventy. We we do need 70. another car, don't we? <laughs> I'm having to to fiddle the that the um, passenger thing to make sure I stop at Ella because they all want to go Whittier to 
surprised them. Well, we've got some cash. If you want to... We could buy a, one of the big passenger cars. But I'm, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving 17. I left, I left a few behind coming, coming up as well. Yeah, maybe we should. Because it kind of runs I'm doing, I can easily take another passenger carriage. Right, I'll buy one going? when we get down here then. This one going into that silly siding at Hello. It's silly siding? It is a silly siding. Like a silly sausage? Yeah. Eighty four packs car is pretty heavy compared to the sixty. Well I am hundred and four tons with the train and the one passenger. What the Who changed that? Oh my god. Somebody slipped it over onto the mm. I didn't quite work out, did it? <sighs> well, there you go. At night, where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm only just come out of Bryson. Okay, because I'm heading up towards Ella. Ella is my destination. Okay, good, good. I've got to go into that. I've got to go forward, then back, then forward. That must be collected, doesn't it? Or are you yeah, dropping one off? I need to drop one off. Ah oh, man, come on, get it sorted. I've just had to like deliver twelve carriages to the sawmill. Give me a break, man. No. Like you've got the easy life. If you just like go up and down the track, stopping for passengers. Wait, I thought the AI went up to the logging yard. So oh, that's called the creek, Paul. The AI does the creek to the lake. What did you do then? I did the sawmill for the fresh cars for the sawmill that came in overnight. Has anybody ever told you what a hero you are, pups? I am a hero, you're correct. I mean, if you didn't keep restarting your PC, <laughs> you'd have a lot more done. <laughs> I know, I would, wouldn't I? Not gonna lie, I thought my PC was gonna crash again earlier. I have a feeling I know what's happening because I've currently got Task Manager open on my other screen. Literally keep everything closed apart from Discord in the game. That's literally all I have open. Because, like, I... if you've got browsers running, they're gonna share the video card. I currently have Twitch chat on my mobile phone. Like, one thing I do is in browsers turn off for hardware acceleration. I think mine is. Because otherwise they'll interfere with OBS and stuff. I've noticed every now and again, this game will spike my GPU to 100% for a second and then die down again. And my game and my PC does not like that at all. I'll just pull, pull. Paul's doing speed shunting again. I can just about see what you're doing on my on my phone. <laughs> uh, it works fine when you're on the right track. You should get to Ella before me, Pops. Okay. I'm just have to be careful around this 30 soon. Yeah, I didn't go around it at 38 earlier on. <laughs> I didn't go around it at 50. <laughs> yeah, but we <laughs> saw what happened there. Yeah. yeah, what happened, Paul? Oh, 
Oh, my camera died, you see, and when my camera died, it made me go 50. <laughs> it sends a command to your train going, full power! Oh. See, the thing is, Knight, you could either have a big passenger car. So here's the thing, right? The big passenger car weighs twice as much as the one you've currently got and carries an mm -hmm. extra 24 packs. Or you could have another one like what you have. So instead of, like at the moment, you're pulling, let's say, 60,000 pounds, about 30 tons. And instead, you'd be pulling like 90 tons. We can afford another 60 packs comfortably without a loan. We can get a grand loan and get the big one, but you're pulling a lot more weight for the extra 24 packs. Or you could even buy two of the passenger things you've got right now. And that would cost us about three grand loan we'd need, and you could have 180 passenger capacity. Or we just buy one small one. Paul? Yeah. Are you busy? Well, I am at the moment. Once night answers me, I'll be unbusy. Well, uh, all I can buy, I don't mind either way. And like I said, another 60 would have meant I would have only left 10 behind at that last stop. But someone was saying earlier on, it's only going to get busier from here onwards, so I don't know. Can these be sold? They can. The thing is... So we've got the option to sell these later and buy the bigger ones if we need to. We just lose a bit of money, that's the downside. Yeah, but the bigger ones weigh twice as much. We'd need an mm. engine upgrade sooner. I mean, I'm quite happy with just another 60. That's going to be another 100 odd, you know. No, you're closer. Could you give me a push? Uh, oh. <clears throat> Crumbs, I'm. Um, yeah, sure. I may have done what you did earlier and completely forgot to check my con situation. Do you remember, Pops? Oh. Do you remember before you crashed, I said to you, Pops, you're on 50% coal? Yeah. You remember me saying that? And I completely forgot because I got distracted. <laughs> Night rescue services are inbound. Not quite sure how this is going to work because you need the trap. <laughs> so, Night, this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What am I gonna do now? Uh, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work. Oh, you need to go forward, then go on the other track, then reverse, then push me. Whoa! Uh, where's my train gone? You just teleported back to me and crashed into me. What just happened? My train was stationary. Yeah, and you were right up the other side, up mm. by the junction, and then you teleported back in front of me. Um... Okay, because on my screen, I was right outside where I needed to be, not moving. Yeah, so where you are now, you were a bit further forward than that. And where I am now is where you teleported back to. Okay, and on my screen, you literally came through the junction and I was right down the other end. Hmm. So we're getting some desync. Hang on, I'm coming to push your carriage back on. Right, go go forward night, I'll hook you back up. How do we um, paint the cars again? Uh, click on it and customization. There's no customization. It's uh, under equipment and then customize. Oh, 
my god. Can you remember what colour that was? Right um, I, I need the uh, RGB value. It is FF5EED. FF5. Echo, echo, Delta. Yeah, D echo, echo, Delta. What was the lettering colour, do you know? White. Sometimes I would just hook onto this one. And did gonna... the text just default, or has it got custom text on it? Uh, right. Uh, lettering colour is all Fs here, yeah, and text doesn't say anything specific about the text. Okay. Well, I'm just leaving and rejoining. My game's massively decent. Well, either that is, or yours is one of the two. You're moving, right? Yes. Is, is that a graphics driver issue? No, that's just... I don't know anymore. I give up today. Right, right. so the problem is, Knight, that carriage on the end of yours... I mean, your carriage... Oh, my God. It needs to go in that little side in there that I'm not going to be able to get yes. into. But the other option is you just push me all the way back to base... And then I'll redo it because it will only take me like five to ten minutes to get back up here. Well, yeah, otherwise I'm going to have to go backwards and forwards about six or seven times. Yeah, just push me back. I'll make sure everything's off. Are you guys are you guys coming from Ella down to Whittier? Yeah. I've got I've got to stop at the station now. Okay. Uh night. Oh my <laughs> You didn't you didn't set the didn't set the the things in. I forgot. Like reverse night, reverse. Who put this dude in charge? Reverse night. Bell and Ben up here, wasn't it? <laughs> My train's got no car, okay? I kind of assume that when you have a second person, you know, that that person would look after the, the basics. This is Pops. Never assume anything. Right, Knight, no, you can you can go now. You sure? Why does the track keep changing? Paul! <laughs> what? I I'm, can see you on the stream. I'm literally doing it for you and you keep clicking it back. Okay, I'm going to brave this out and go. <laughs> I have to like lean right into my phone to see what's happening. <laughs> no, click the cog and put it on high resolution because it autos to some Minecraft resolution. I can't believe I ran out of coal. Speaking mm. of which, uh, I'm from. I was going to say, don't tell me you're running out. <laughs> no, I, I have 3.8 tons and 2,700 gallons of water. I've got plenty of water. You're just lacking on skill, that's all. Exactly. In your oh, the car and the passenger options, what's it got ticked? At the moment, it's got both stations ticked, but Ella should untick once it's unloaded. Are you going to do a passenger run, or just is that the end of that now? I'll just leave it here for you. Just leave it there, because we won't do another passenger run now until tomorrow. I've done all three stations today. Okay. So the best bit is he has to push me back all the way to the yard for me to drop this off at Ella, and then I have some work to do where you've just left. He's Do you need me to come to Ella and rescue you, or are you okay? Did you? I think well, I'm probably holding up nine. Well, no, I'm dropping. I'm dropping passengers off at the moment. We've got 15 to go, and I'm continuing on to with it. With okay, because at the moment I'm heading to Ella. Do you want me to stop and turn around? Yeah. So could you sort out Whittier Junction, Paul? So you need two cars from the sidings. With the one dodgy one in the middle. 
And then there is also one that needs to go there, which is currently parked in front of the oil bounds. Professional driver, me. You haven't done anything at Whitty. You was literally there when I went through. Yeah, but then I had to go up to Ellar to t drop this off, and then I ran out of coal. <sighs> Packs don't mind waiting in a train overnight. <laughs> what? Well, they already have. That's amazing. I'll have to load this this carriage anyway tomorrow uh, or later. Do, do you want me to set the Whittier track for you to go inside to go past it or outside to go to the passenger car that I've left for you? Uh, well, i got to push him to the coal, haven't I? To whichever route I need to get him to the coal that's not blocked. You need to get him down to coal. Okay, I'll leave it then. To go inside track straight through. What there needs to be is a train that can come and deliver coal to you. <laughs> that's called multiplayer. You get somebody to do it. Yeah, but ain't, I don't think there's a carriage, is there? You can no, just but... like. Yeah, you can't move the coal from one to another easily. You'd have to shovel it. Thanks for the push, Knight. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that delivery sat there going, wait, shouldn't I be going the other way? That's why I think Paul's got the harder job because he needs to keep the one in the middle where it is. Bloke in the office back there is going, wasn't that for us? Actually, Paul, I reckon if you fast forward time a bit, that middle one will empty and need to go back well, by. The middle as one well. is empty, isn't it? It's, the, no, it's yeah. one and three that need to be. Um... Oh, the middle one's empty. Oh, I see. I need to pull the middle one out. Yeah, so I was. Maybe if you fast forward time, it might. Maybe switch over to go back to the interchange. Forward to midday, one o'clock or something. Yeah. It's still got 30 tons left in it. That's not going anywhere. Well, that one needs to go back to the interchange. The one in the middle is the one currently emptying or filling up, whatever way around it goes. When I hover it's over it, it says the back one's empty. The front one's got 30 tons. It's showing 10 tons in the middle one. So if it's emptying, it's nearly empty. If it's going either way, it's got quite a lot to do. I don't understand why the why the middle one's it's empty, so but it has ten tons. It's not empty. That just means it's it's that because it's transparent. It just means that's where it needs to be. It won't fill that middle one without the metal stock on the other track. Right. So, okay. Gotcha. I feel like I'm not doing very much this at this point in time. Well, you're, that just, is. you're a passenger. Also, is this as fast as your train go? With your extra weight on you. Hang on, I saw Paul pull in 50 tons and he was going like 40 miles an hour. Well, it's at full power and the... Uh, the F is only three quarters of the way over. It's the same as what Paul has is. Are you going up an incline? Um, maybe. The answer to that is no, yes. I don't know how to check. <laughs> yes, we are. Shift you question mark pressed. and hover over the track. Yeah, I was going to say, they're at the uh, complete opposite ends of your keyboard. Well, shift and question marks right next to each other on my keyboard. Oh, I forgot about that shift key. <laughs> yeah, there's one on each side. It's weird. I've been pressing left and right. 
Yeah, keyboard design's changed recently. They put shifts on each side. It's a new thing. It must be. That must be the shift key that I've been missing all this time. Shift for Sean. Right, I'm going to wait here while you two go past, and then I shall continue with my operation. Thank you. <laughs> Well, so it's not meant to track. say thank you, because in theory, I would be on the other track if it wasn't for somebody. Oh, here we go. Blame it on me. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying I, w I would have been on the other track. Excuses, excuses. Broken damn train coming through. Sean, you left that car in the worst possible place. <laughs> Well, I did have a plan. Yeah, well, you've got to get behind it to drop it off now, and you can't get behind it. You have to pull it out and move around it to get behind it. It is on a slope, so you could probably, possibly just take the handbrake off and let it go back down. Well, if it's on a slope coming this way, then I might well do that. I believe that goes up slightly uphill to get it there. We're nearly there, night. I have to get some stuff myself, but this is right. I'm out of extra jeans I'm having to do. Uh, night, stop, stop, stop. The AI is all the way down where we need to go. Yeah, you just need to put him into forward and yeah, switch yeah, his track it and it'll go back. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Good job I checked, because I don't think we would have stopped <laughs> Hang on, he's just got to do his pre, uh, pre routine. He's got to ring his bell and stuff before he can do anything. No, that's not moving. What about this? Okay, I don't know whether this will work. If you got out your train and pressed Shift R, you know, like the real rail thing, could you push it forward? Like, I don't actually know if that works. Oh, you can. You can push the car in first person. Shift R. Lol. Well, you can. Yeah, someone just said in chat you can. That's Max it? three miles an hour. <laughs> Right, you're clear to, to go, Knight. I'm already going. So how do you do it? Shift R? Yeah, someone says Shift R and a bit of spamming. Oh, that must some muscles you've got there, Paul. Oh yeah, it's all that kebab protein. <laughs> Dude, this is—it doesn't stay rolling, or it's on an incline coming back the other way. In which case, what you said is a total lie. Because the moment I stop pushing, this thing starts rolling backwards. I think. Well, it looks like you've mastered it. I think I have. Trouble is, you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Do you want me to go over there quick and tell you when you're free? <laughs> okay, I got this. Keep going, Knight. Keep going. Start. I'll, I'll, I'll take my carriage off for you. Don't forget to whistle. There you go, Knight.
Now you need to get both carriages on the same side, don't you, Like, So you're going to have to reverse past it and then go yeah, forward. Yeah, and then come forward into it. Or maybe a while. I've got to top up with six tons of coal. Is a shunter where you can just flex. Wait. Now what's wrong with you? Well, I'm not. I'm just looking at the stream. I'm not going to be able to get through it at the moment, so I'll wait here. I'll be gone very, very shortly. But going which way? I'll be over on the other side, so you can go through or do whatever you need to. I just need to get through on the track next to the. Passengers, so I can go past it and then come back to it. Give it ten seconds and it'll be free. Thank you. All. Early access. Thank you for a double top forty months. Through. Okay. That's I need you to come through because once I've made this drop, I need to go that way. Yeah, I'm uh, just coming up around now. I'm confused. So I need that last car out of here, don't I? Yes. Uh. Should have pulled that out of here before I did this. It's fine, it's no biggie. Do you want to get your second pack, Scott? Well, uh, if I'd have picked it up going through, I'd have had one on one side of the engine and one on the other. No. Oh. You, you had your engine, you would have been reverse, and then you could have gone forward and picked up the other car with it. Because you were going backwards, wasn't you? Yeah. So when you went through, I thought you'd just come back forward and get your car. I'm going back for it now. Mm. So the so the car's on the same side as the other one. Just bear in mind, shunting is currently in operation. I know. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just wait at the station so you sorted. And I'll just wait on the turn because I need to come through at one point. Unless Knight can grab his carriage what? and then shunt into the one next to. Well, I've only got to drop off nineteen passengers. 
and then actually I can just carry on forward and come come past you, pups. Okay, so I'll turn off as even I'm going up towards the login, so I'm out your way. I don't think this was my smoothest day at the office. Love how you can tell which one's a new car and which one isn't. The new one's got a nice shiny roof and the old one looks like it's rusted away. That's true actually, that's weathered it, isn't it? Yeah. need to do is run this carriage up to Ella and then come back and we can end the day. There's two different models, I don't think the weather over time. Oh, right, okay. I don't think they are two, but ain't they the same carriage? Well, the one, the original one says 2090 Pullman 1900 open platform coach. And the new one says the same. I think he means like it just flips from one to the other. There's no steady weathering transition. Oh, it is damaged. We're that night. Like, you need to take that first one to the repair station though for overnight. It's on 36%. It's been abused. I've, I've set the destination for you, so you can just go straight in there. Of course, yeah, because you teleported into me and... I did not it. teleport into you. Let's not start blaming the game. Let's not get bogged down on who did what. That's what people are to blame generally say. Let's not focus <laughs> on the blame. <laughs> Let's focus on the solution. How much of a gap is there the other side of the repair station? There'd be enough for the whole thing to go in there tonight. Cool. Have, have you set the points I'm, or do I need to do that? No, I'm doing it now for you. Thank you. You just uh, might have to wait for Paul to finish loading up with stuff. I'm just grabbing some coal and water. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Once I'm at Ella and back, we can skip the day. So, Knight, you basically, once pulls out the way, you need to flick the switch and the rest is set up for you. Ah. What was it you're trying to get to? The repair shed. Okay.
but occasionally I like to get some coal and water, you know, it keeps me going for longer. <sighs> I should have expected that one. Tell me you don't want to break down while you're delivering stuff. Are you just putting the car in there, or are you putting the um, train in there, local? I'm going to put the whole thing in, but it's only the carriers, the passenger carriers that need to prepare them. Um, okay, you'll need to go on the left one because the right one isn't long enough. Okay, you can start reversing. Oh, get some coal up as I go through in here. See, if I didn't run out of fuel, you wouldn't have remembered. Really? Yeah. Is that your theory? That's my that's my thinking here, lads. So there's me telling you what percentage it was on because obviously I never <laughs> look. That's your theory. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just a bit of hillbilly, no. So the only thing left is that one thing to Ella. Which I presume you're doing, pups. Yeah, I was there, but I ran out of fuel, so I had to go all the way back, just yeah, drive all the way back. did all your jobs for you while you just was a passenger. Yeah. You did, and I, I appreciate it, Paul, and I thank you for doing them. I will send you some photos in the post. <laughs> uh, so made... the flares on the track are called fusies, and you use them to stop the AI. Like, the, if you tell the AI driver to drive down here, it will stop at a fusey. You need to go more forward than that. I oh, know. I put a little bit too much brake on. I mean, Paul, if I ask nicely, I could probably get the guy that goes to the, uh, the wholesalers for the shop to pick me up a box of Freddy's at a reduced price to send to you. <laughs> it's fine, mate. I think they come in boxes of 60. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why you shouldn't do it, you see. Oh, I should do it, right. Because it They'll won't be, be good next for me. Week. They'll be with you next week, nah. Paul. Nah, <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> Easter, I'm done. I'm done. Your daughter could take them, Paul, every time she visits. See, if, if I end up with a load of chocolate, what happens is my brain just goes, no, I'm not eating all that, and then I don't eat any of it. I like it when I've got some chocolate and I can enjoy it. Fine. What about if I buy a box and send you 10 every Mate, month? Listen, I've had enough chocolate. I've had more chocolate in the last two weeks than I generally have in the whole year. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm more of a savoury person. I just enjoy the Freddo chocolate now and again. Ritz crackers for the win. Yeah, how I many Ritz crackers did you eat? Eight boxes of 200 gram. Yeah, eight, eight how boxes. many days? Eight boxes. Um, That's 1.6 kilograms of Ritz cracker. Ask me how many days, Paul. We don't need to know that. Was it five? How many days did it take you to eat eight boxes, Knight? About five days. Five days to eat 1.6 kilograms of Ritz crackers. They're just too nice. And he ordered more. Yeah, they've just been delivered. <laughs> Wait, what? You've got another 1.6 kilograms? i got another 1.6 kilograms waiting for me. <laughs> well, that's the next week sorted out. <laughs> this time next yeah, weekend they'll be like hmm. I'm going to subscribe on Amazon to them <laughs> <laughs> subscribe what, and save every week every week deliver 1.6 kilograms of Ritz crackers and then I just need to get some shares and so when they repair this will that come out all shiny on top again will they give it a paint job 
I think so. I still think Yorkshire Tea need to be a sponsor of yours. I agree. You, you're done, Knight. Off you go. I shall send them a strong-worded tweet. A strong-worded tweet. They won't be used to that kind of thing on Twitter, will they? No. Strong they words. If you don't send my mate Paul and sponsor him a lot of tea bags, <laughs> then dot yeah. dot dot. I this won't. dolphin is going to come and visit you. <laughs> Give you a slapping with my big tail. <laughs> I should ask them for a tour of their factory. I can't be that far from their factory. Um. Where is know. their factory? It's in... Um... I'd like to hope it's in Yorkshire. No, it's... Oh, what's the town called? Harrogate. Harrogate. I'm not far from there! Oh, I could so get a tour. I, can't, I think they do tours as well. I think they have a gift shop. Oh, I might have to pay a visit next time I'm down that way. I say down that way. It's like an hour and a half from me, if that. You might as well put the lo your local in there as well, and I'll set that to repair at the same time. So if you can get yourself your tender and that first local in there, they'll all repair. And what? I can now do it. Try that. Right, pups, just waiting on you. Yeah, no worries. How much money have we got? 1,400. Right. Okay. Is there be... anything else you want to do before we skip time? Nope. I think so. Okay. Sorry, I was being spoken to. I didn't hear what the question was. Is there anything we want to do before I skip time? Uh, wait for me to get back. Why? Because otherwise it means I can't move the stuff that I need to grab out your way. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it also become a you problem. Could request an interchange service. What will that do for us? Also, I don't... What's that option? It's under locations. Schedule for 11.40. I don't think it's really worth it, though, because Knights needs repairing, so we might as well skip the day to get the hours to repair his... Depends how much shit it's damaged. It means if of sleeping at 6, you only have to wait till 11.40. But I like sleeping till 6 a.m. I think we should try it and just to see what happens. I'm curious. Interchange will refresh earlier. Do you want to try it? Uh, yes, but you might get blocked in by my stuff. Well, no, I'm going to go schedule it for 11.40, mate. Done. Oh, okay. So you still got two and a half hours to get here. It won't take me two and a half hours to get there. I hope not. I want a diesel locomotive. I suppose the downside to that is will all my stuff get repaired? It, uh, you'll get repaired, but not as much. Like your car might be on, instead of being 36, you might be on 46. I did definitely set the car to be repaired there, Paul. Can you just check? I set all... I did. I set everything. Okay. Those pups. Oh, isn't he just coming through the 30 section? I won't be long. Jeez, you're so impatient.
I was playing Xbox last week and someone actually had the gamer tag, Big Pops. I laughed and knew I just had to share that with you and chat. Big Pops. No. <laughs> oh, I can confirm that is not my gamer tag. I can't get, like, the way it takes to speech says Pops just cracks me up. How does it say it? I don't think I've heard it. Doesn't it doesn't say Pops. Muted. It basically says P Ups. No. Because Big P Ups. <laughs> Puts this weird gap in there. You know what? I can't remember how you put a fusey down. F? Question mark? No. Hang on, I'm looking at controls for you. Control F? Oh, yeah. Now do you remove it? Control F? Extinguish, just click on it. Why do I feel like it just removed one down here? It definitely did. There used to be one on both of these lines, pretty much in line with each other. Yeah, it looks like you can have one on each block. How have I used so much coal? Inefficient driving. Basically, I had six tons. Now I'm on two point seven. Company settings. So if we sleep for an hour. Now ten fourteen. Sleep for another hour. It's now eleven fourteen. I'm nearly there. And your car's now forty four percent instead of thirty six. And your loco is ninety nine. Your tender's a hundred. So it's everything but your car. Okay. So it's like it's operational as long as you don't get smashed into again by a skill issue person. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm coming in, hot loans. I'm doing 40. Cool. Let me just set the points to make sure you have a good time. Don't even think about <laughs> it. I need to get coal. Straight into the sidings. <laughs> You do any coasting pops when you're coming up? No, I was seeing what top speed I could get. Ah. It's like, yeah, why do I burn coal so much? It's just like, we managed to get from here to Bryson and back without having to refill. You've already got as far as Ella and back. <laughs> yeah, but I was pushing the limits of what my train could do. Because you're so impatient, aren't you? If I skip it again for an hour now, it should refresh this interchange. Yes. yes, yes, yes. There we go. So it's got rid of all that stuff. And we've got stuff to go to Appalachian. All the yellow stuff leave oh, to me. Another one of those manufacturing things. Couple of sawmill. Well, Ella and Appalachian needs to go roughly the same place. But do you want yeah. to take them and I'll just do the orange stuff again? But one's a bit of a faff drop when you get to Ella. Or leave that one and the orange ones to me, I don't mind. At the moment, the green and the orange are disconnected. Oh, I need to... Oh, hang on, while my train fills up, I need to put stuff back on the uh, switch list. Because there's bound to be stuff to bring back as well. Mm, could be. Well, the yellow one's probably not. Because I picked up the yellow one, didn't I? 
I'm just having a look now. Yeah, the problem is you have to teleport to each station to be able to... There's one at Ella. Can you check, uh... Bryson Knight? Arriving now. I'm just topping up with coal, Paul, and then I'll be out your way. Okay. Are you just going to pull in there towards the engine? Shift? Yeah, I'll just put in there out of the way so you can go past. Uh, is there anything there, Knight? How do you um, make the switch, pups? It's asking you a question, Pubs. Oh, sorry, what was your Paul? In chat, Stimpy's saying, how do you make a switch list? Uh, so you go, where you join, put the passengers. Go and click where the passengers is, and then there's a freight tab. And on that, there's a tick box that says, put it on your switch list. Do you want me to show them where are you going? Yeah. So go to uh, Whittler Station. And you mean go there? You have to go there and just, click on the heart. So at the bridge project, all but three, all but three are ready to come back. Yeah, well, we might as well wait for them all to be finished. Okay, so it's just one at L of them. Are they still on the switch list, though? Just put them all on the switch list. What, the ones at the top, at Bryson? Yeah, put everything at Bryson on the switch list. So click on the, the window, pull the little window. There you go. And then freight, and then there's a switch list. Every we don't put the only ones we don't put are the ones that go up to the creek because that's all done by the AI is on another list. I'm out your way, Paul. Didn't even put the shoot back up. I'll do it for you on the way past. Wouldn't like to smash into it. Fine. Have you done a book? What? Put these ones on the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was doing that. I suppose the advantage of doing more jobs in one day is that the, you don't get paid as many bills for employees and stuff because they're paid per that's day, true. aren't they? Yeah, that's true. And technically, you can, there'll be more passengers will appear, so I reckon if Knight goes up there with his packed cars... That's well, what I mean, I might as well just do a passenger room, aren't they? When I was at Whittier, there were 60 there waiting. Right, no, I'm moving out your way so you'll be free to go. Also, was an easier way to get those up instead of having to fly to them. mod to make the house icons on the map clickable to open the station agent menu. Okay, that's a useful mod. And um, the AI can run as well. Yep, I'm on it. 
I'm clear. Yep. Well, yeah, I was going to do it right because Mr. Squirrel was texting me. <laughs> Yeah, Pops, when we get diesel locomotives, we'll be able to listen to another repeating WAV file. It'll just be a bit different. <laughs> be amazing. But at least it will be different, Paul. Mm. It'd be quite funny if it's the same, same file. It'd probably sound like those cars in the supermarket simulator. Just a big diesel knocking engine outside. <laughs> You still there, pups? Yeah. Okay. Why? Somebody said you'd you'd crashed. No. I, don't know, I thought you had a webcam in your bedroom or something. Don't have any cams in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. What about your OnlyFans? You mean my only nuts? I've made a fortune on only nuts. I think I want a different loco just so I can hear a different WAV file. <laughs> but that is assuming, of course, that each loco has a different WAV file. To be fair, I would just take some ambient sounds. one empty one to come out of there as well. No, that's wrong. I need to push that one away.
Well, I was just thinking about where I needed it. I'm not blocking the main line anyway. Just be aware the main line's blocked to Ella at the moment. So if you're coming up, you're going to hit a car. Okie dokie. I'm not far from it. And yeah, I see him. It might just teleport into you. It's a bit of a faff because I've got to get around the back of these cars basically to do this draw. That didn't go to plan at all. Because when I went to click on the control for the car to hit the brake, it go then opened the door. the door instead. Just does my night in. And those valuable seconds cost me. why I always click on the roof. I may have to do the same thing. Like, why would I ever want to open the door on that? It makes it's no sense. The in, there's no objects inside. Because like, it doesn't render them. To me, it's just pointless. Just zero, like, literally zero point. Are you around the corner from me, Knight? Yes. You can actually help me out slightly. You need. So, the car that's blocking the main line, you connect to it. And then basically shunt it out the way. Onto the track you've just gone onto, or just. Well, just anywhere. in a minute, I'm just going to pull off into these sidings so I can go and get this other car. But, um, yeah, if you want to push that further down the main line, if you want. Where, where are you going it, to be I going? I can take it all the way if you want me to, because I'm going up to Bryson. 
In that case, you oh. you push it up there then. Take it with you and I'll sort this out here and come up there after. I say Paul needs to go up there after because he needs to grab all the stuff from the bridge site. Yeah, that's fine. He might, he that's might... not a job yet, is it? Yes. Is it? It's on the switch list. Oh. Yeah, but not all of them are ready when I checked. He might have to skip an hour so the last two tick over when you get there. See what happens for you now and then. Twenty-nine dollars. It's not very much. Yeah, I suppose it's around the corner, wasn't it? Ironically, though, since we've um, got the extra cash, three passengers going up to Bryson. Yeah, but didn't someone say there's a rush hour, like in the morning? Yeah. Like, yeah. We do it. Well, we've only gone forward a few hours. So. There might be a might be a rush out to come back. Payment is reduced if your packed car is damaged as well. Whose car's damaged? Someone said in chat, payment is reduced if your packed car is damaged as well. Really? Okay. Why well, that's much? fine. Mm -hmm. If there's less than if if there's less than sixty to come back, I'll only enable the good car. Isn't there a log somewhere where it logs all the chat? Uh, it's uh, it's at Come the top. Time. It's the second one. I don't know what the, the hotkey is to open it. That one. $29 for 36 fares. That's not even a dollar a ticket. But that was just around the corner, so... And his car's damaged.
We do have a service centre that works, yes. At the moment, there's only 57 to come back. But I'll only put them in the good car. Roger. If we get to 60, then obviously... Just take them and then overnight we can repair your one, can't we? Yeah. What? Hang on a minute. I just dropped this one off. And it's just ticked over. And now this one at the back's just ticked over, saying, oh, I need to go back now. Are you actually serious? What if you want, Paul? Because I'm just about done here. You can go up to... the. Oh, I forgot what the new place is called. I didn't pick up the wrong one, dude. Look, this has got 40 tons of farming supplies. It just got dropped off. But this one has just ticked over to empty, and now it wants to go back. Can I get three in a row, though? I've got to come up that way if you want to just go to Bryce up or when I grab Fine. that one. I've got to drop this one, though, anyway. I've got to go down there. Okay. Because I'm just about done here with this one. I wish they'd add some audio for the industries like they have in Derail. Yeah. Even oh, Railroads Online has audio for that. Don't forget, guys, the Yachts 10 t-shirt and hoodies now available. Ken just ran the Yachts command. If you have a look on the site, you can see stuff. Thankfully, that just fits in. Landon, yeah. May have misclicked. got three different vehicles on the move right now. <laughs> right, do you need a hand, Paul? Because I'm doing nothing. No, it's all good. Okay. Right, so that's all the bridge site which Paul has to grab afterwards. He's currently juggling with the other two. I'm just trying to catch up one of my cars at the moment. Good, all right. 
swear it's picking up speed. <laughs> I think that slope, that track is a slope on that could be why. Yeah, but I'm on the same slope. I've got to get my closing speed. It's like docking in KSP, this. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Right, so am I going up to Bryson or something? Yes. You need to grab the stuff from the bridge site and bring it back down. One, two, three, four, five. Is that all of them? No, you just cleared two off because they wasn't ready yet. They've just gone off the, the list. Put them back on I can't bring them back then, can I? No, that's what I said. You might have to skip an hour oh, when you sorry. get there to clear them up. Oh, I could just I skip just... an hour and hour, can't I? You could, yeah. Uh, I'll put them back okay. on the list. Yeah, two hours. How's that? Line to uh, fun town has been completed. There you go. They should all be done. Yeah, they are. I have set you for track two, going through um, Bryson because the passenger carriages are on one. Dangle. I'm just going to go and drop this uh, one off at the top. Bye, Tiger. Thank you for 500 bits. I was playing Xbox last week. Oh, no, I read that one already. thought it was new. I swear I heard a sound. <laughs> It was a oh, talking to you, Paul. That's what it was. Man. What's that, the matter with you now? It's the sound there's of mistake. There's, a, there's, no, there's another one up here for collection. <laughs> Where's up here? Up oh, where well, I'm dropping this one off, so it's fine. I'll collect it. Up at the hardwoods. Pricing. Which is what? Up right. Next up. Uh, uh, Pricing, yeah. Well, the perhaps it's doing finish. nothing. Look, me and Paul know where it is. Just because you always just stay down your, li your little corner and don't move. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you come down here and shunt like 20 cars around going backwards and forwards. Cars. <laughs> and it was. I had to deliver. Oh, hang on, I'm going to go and count this. 20 cars in two lots of 10. So I had to deliver 12 to the sawmill, which all didn't fit. Well, that's the AI. No, it's not. The AI is the lake and the creek. The sawmill is me. But the sawmill is where you put the logs, isn't it? No, not according to the game. The sawmill is where the carriages go. What I will do, though, is check if there's any up... Is 55 miles an hour too quick, do you think? Nah, perfectly fine, Paul. What is the worst that can happen? About 56. And it's two of three as well that's got to go. Number two of three. It's always the way. I assume this thing measures coal burn now based on how much throttle you use. I would say yes after my experience. Yeah, I mean, coming to Bryson, I just coast it in. Because it's downhill. Hmm. Very much so.
Yeah, I do like the mogul. It's a nice train. Now entering Bryson. Oh, you should be on like track two. Yeah. It's punting me over to track two. So Papa Reno, where are you? Popping up with Carl. <laughs> Again? I'm just playing it safe now. Every time I go past, I stop and have a top up. You can just look at how much you've got. No, if I if I play it safe, I can never run out then, can I? Uh, Furwin, thank you for 14 months. That's the added advantage that you don't get to do any work as well. <laughs> Everything that needs to go is up at Brighton at the moment, and you two are up there. Brighton? Brighton. I'm not sure how it can be a skid issue when everything is a completely other end of the map than I am. So, Knight, you need to stay where you are for a minute, I think. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, not going to come down. To Actually, the, to no, because I'll be branching off before I get to you, won't I? Yeah, and I've changed that second, that point to take you to the to the where you need to go. The middle one? Yeah, in the middle one. Cool. Actually, you are safe to come out up to the junction. I'm still shunting at the moment, so I'll be, be alright for a bit. Is that wheel not spinning? Oh, there it goes. Oh, I'm sending yeah, I know it. the AI back down. You gone, mate? Are you still there? Still here, you bum. Now he's leaving. In two minutes. It just goes from one slack to another, doesn't he? No, he does. It's either oh, I've got nothing to do, or I'm just filling up with coal every five minutes, or my graphic driver's gone again. And then when you ask him, it's like, yeah, I've just shunted 25,000 things down at the yard. <laughs>
Uh, no, Jimbo. No, le leg room at Sheffield's not great. And if you can't get front row, which you pretty much can't, then... Meh. Can't see anything else at Bryson. That, oh, there's one that needs moving. I was going to say there wasn't, but I haven't checked since the time scope. Well, there suddenly is. I don't like these um these points, they're not very clear at all. Like the colour of them. Just spins from like a dark red to a dark green. I prefer derail valleys where they kind of throw left and right. Yeah, night, are you coming in hot there? Yeah. Okay, I stuck your handbrake on at the last second, but it wasn't enough. What happened? I was looking at the passengers. Okay, well, so you derail the car. I was like looking at you thinking, is he disconnected? Nah. He's going <laughs> to slow down, isn't he? Surely he's going to slow down. I think the uh, simulation's not quite right on this game. Like, if you reverse into a car and you don't connect the brake hose, you can still just pull it fine without pressurising the brake line in the car that you connected to. I noticed that as well. Right, we're heading back. Are you playing on medium or low brake setting? I have no idea. Where would that be? Braking force medium. High braking force makes means trains are easy to stop. Options are medium and low. I guess that was the default. It, I suppose it is Ryan when they've sat there for a long time.
I have 117 passengers. Yeah. Half of them need hospital treatment now, but I've got them. <laughs> well, had they boarded at the point where you slammed in? Yeah, because I was leave I that's what I was doing. I was enabling the second carriage. Because <laughs> there was loads of people waiting. So what you're saying is a lot of whip points Right, not my company. <laughs> no, I don't think I do need any help, Maximus. Thank you. On a different subject, what's everyone got planned for their week? Anything interesting? Uh, work. I actually don't know. <laughs> I know, Ryan. Your birthday tomorrow, so you're heading out for the day, possibly to the National Trust Sheffield Park and Bluebell Steam Railway. Ooh. Hospital and a half marathon is my week. An interesting week you've got there. Well, it looks like I'm D&D in tomorrow evening. Very nice. Does that mean you're not around for fun? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alex isn't around anywhere on Tuesday, is he? <laughs> uh, what's the training course, Dave? percent gradient here, flipping out. This low goes fine until it gets to a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow back at work, Punk need to sew up a rip in one of the dinosaur exhibits. Three days in and already things breaking. No. I want to know what kind of job you do to just sew up a rip in a dinosaur. Exhibit. Could work at the Natural History Museum. They got dinosaurs there. Well, they come alive at night. They do. I've Walk seen around. That. That's true. With a tablet, all the tap they turn down a tablet, and then everything comes along. I literally walked through the dinosaur exhibit and immediately thought of Night of the Museum. <laughs> yeah. I think the best bit about that movie was the two little girls. Uh, Trick about to have a half elf ranger. Gee, that sounds like a cool job to be honest, working at the zoo. Do you look after animals as well, or are you a bit like a maintenance person? Yeah, nights at the Natural History Museum, did they have queue jumpers as well? Like people who oh, just cut through the barriers? Oh, here we go. Wow. Yes. And it was me. <laughs> because we, my, 
Mom's in a mobility chair. See where he arrived. He says, oh, you're not queuing in that. Just go straight through there. Nice. So that's what I need to do next time I go to museum. Got it. Just hire a mobility scooter and you're fine. I like that. You're not queuing in that. You're not queuing in that thing where you sat down comfortably. Oh, no. You shortcut. No standing for you. <laughs> but you watch sucking our rain. Fair enough. 14 months, Ferwin, thank you. That sounds quite cool, but fuzz cool. You get me free tickets to the zoo. They're free anyway, mate. You don't have to pay for them. What, the zoo? Depends which zoo you go to. True. Your uncle works in Imperial One Museum, so you get free access to paid ex exhibitions. Nice perk. We want to go back to there. Because natural history, Imperial War, and science are all together. Yeah, I like going back. I like leaving it for a few years before I go back. Because that way they've got, you know, a chance to change things a bit. Yeah, I thought I'd go to the Science Museum and see the same security guard still there. Yeah, he might be. And he was he? But then he got well, me. That's something he needs to. He might have quit his job because he was getting harassed by uh, ungrateful customers when he was trying to do his job. <sighs> he might have like mental issues now. Oh, what a shame! Got attacked by a dolphin. I heard. I heard dolphins can be very, very feisty when they need to be. So what are you picking up at the moment, pubs? Oh, wait, no, you're you're busy. You, you've uh, got your coal, right? Yeah, but I can't do nothing because I'm waiting for this lot to clear at the uh -huh, thing. Uh -huh, yeah. You're so judgmental of me, Paul. <laughs> I, don't, I don't appreciate it. I, do, I just get this feeling that in this particular working day here, you've not done very much. I did all my shunting jobs. It's not my fault. You two have to go like 20 miles up the road. And sometimes we even have to do his jobs for him. Yeah. When he and goes AFK. Push him. Just goes AFK and slams into you. I mean, he damaged your car, didn't he? And your loco as well. I did not. Yeah. Whatever, you two. <laughs> you think you're so big and clever where you're not. And that emote is annoying me. <laughs> I can't say anything without people posting that emote. <laughs> I've come so close to adding it to my ignore list so I don't see it. <laughs> then you'd wonder what people were on about, right? Yeah. What's everybody laughing at? Every time I speak, that's all I get now. <laughs> it's quite irritating. The thing is, but you sound angry. Even when you're not angry, you sound angry. That's just my voice. What do you want me to do about it? See, like, you sound angry now. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> People can't see, they can post Christmas emotes because I have them blocked and ignored. So it just shows up as an empty line for me. Is it really? You got them blocked? Oh yeah, my I God. Put, I put the Christmas emotes blocked and ignored on my channel. You're such a grin. <laughs>
It's in a bit of cement. Larry. I got 12 empty cars here and it still weighs nearly 300 tons. And I can block emojis on chatty, yes. I can just add them to my ignore list. $10 for 17 that's got to be this condition of the car, right? It has to be. Because that's a rip-off. Well, we've now got 120. What, packs? Yeah. That's from... Ella. What, are you taking Ella to Whittier? Ella to Whittier. Mm -hmm. They won't pay that much. Probably get like $80. But the 60 passengers in the perfectly good car have come all the way from Bryson to Whittier. Interesting. Well, you, you would hope, Tyrope, if some of the packs were in a nice new car and some are in a bad car, it would calculate them independently. You should just be able to drive straight in, Paul. Almost. Except that's not how I roll. I always take the loco off first. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay, about to you, Pops. Uh, you're good to nowhere near you. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to say, because the, the, the one that needs to go on, in, is behind me. And I need to go into the repair. So I could drop this one off if you want to be just the other side of the points that you can yeah yeah yeah. Off. yeah yeah so just drop that before you fall in and i'll grab it yeah just gotta wait for paul to get off the track yeah well like i said i'm nowhere near it yet yeah no forward planning i shall grab it My vehicle not accelerating. Do you have coal and water? Pretty certain I'm full. You're about to be slammed into if you're not careful. You got loads of coal and water. Literally, oh, the forward reverse levers right at the end, so it's not gonna yes. go any faster. Must be. I need to go up the other line. 
Gonna let that roll down quite a bit. Yeah, nice. Nice. Benner, thank you for 115 months. Is there any more stuff coming back here? Yeah, one from night, that's it. Which I'm just gonna go and grab for him now. I've got to stop drop these passengers off there, so I don't know. As in, don't rush. Where are you going, pups? Uh, Knight's got one that carriage that needs to come here, but he also needs to go into the repair station, so I can grab the one while he pulls in. I will be stopping roughly any second. Why? Because Knight needs to put into the repair shed so I can grab his well, thing. I was going to chop mine in there for a bit. I ain't gonna. I'll go forward so you can get in as well. No, I was. I need the um, one with the longer track. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I'll go on the short one. It's fine. I shall move out the way. There should be enough room there for you, Paul. Uh, gingerbread, thank you for 35 months. Yeah, my locust's fine, but my tender's damaged a little bit. So I might as well get these engineers to burn their keep. That's all set for you, Knight. Cool. I'm just pulling up to the passenger station. Okay, unloading has commenced. Okie dokie. We're just waiting for you now. All right. All right. Better be. I was waiting for somebody. Let's see how much you get this time. I reckon about. Eighty-five dollars. I'm gonna say seventy-five. I'm gonna say twenty. Oh, well, that's hey. horrible! What? I just zoomed out on my field of view. As far as I, oh, that's horrible! Oh, if you middle mouse click, you get different views. Yeah. Oh, the mouse sensitivity when you zoom in all the way. That's not fun. Hey. <laughs> all I can see is your eyeballs. Definitely not freaky at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really weird. All I can see is occasionally your hat. Yeah, if I go forward like that, you might be able to see that. Oh, that's a... Oh, Whoa! Wow. $190 for 120 So it is per car, then. Do you see that? I did, yes. 120 tickets, and we got $190. So I reckon you got, like, $2 for the good ones, and then, like, one less than $1 for the others. So you definitely want to repair that car. On my way now.
I wish there was a detailed breakdown. Of? Uh, like the pack, so you could see like what ones from what station to what station paid this much and what station from that station paid the other much. We've got yeah. $2,164. It's not bad. We're about to hit a milestone. Yeah, phase three of three. Start final phase. Might as well click that. Bosh. So back down to $600. Tough going. It is. I mean, we need seven and a half grand just for that other one, Silver Track. But we're going to do the Alarka stuff first, I think. Yeah, because I don't want to take the interchange all the way down there. Where's the. Um... So we got the Mogul. That's. 5,800, including our discount. I love this factor of adhesion. <laughs> That what brand of super glue it uses. Yeah. P18 Pacific. What was that word, Paul? Sorry? Pacific. Okay. Paul, sorry. G25 Mogul is ten and a half grand. Quite a bit more tractive effort. Trouble is, you got to buy these locusts to find out if they're any good. Yep. Inside the packs, car. <laughs> Lot. Looks all right. Uh, isn't it? I've got a star away. You're gonna be an overnight passenger, yeah? Yeah, I'm sleeping there. There's not even any lights in here or anything. Terrible. Nowhere to put your luggage. Outrageous. I mean, I could put my light on. Right, you want me to skip the day then? Not yet. What are we doing? I'm bringing Knight's carriage because he had to turn in and, and he was bringing one back to the depot. You're going to fly shunt it in? Yep. Take it this is like the diesel pump or something. Yes, it is. Diesel fueling stand lower. <laughs> okay. Get on a moving car, it's impossible. Hey. There we go. Right, skip day. Yup. Settings. Nope. Or is it time? Sleep. Whee! 22 cars. Right, I need to. Grab, all right, let me grab the orange ones and move them out of the way. Oh, that, ah, you've got to grab onto the back of this, haven't you? 
Which means I want to take the two Ella ones off your hands as well. Don't know. I don't even know what's going where yet. So... Oh, there's a lot that's going up to Bryson as well. So there's like 11 for the Bryson Bridge site, but then there's other stuff. There's a lot of sawmill stuff in shunting as well. Yeah. Did you... You're coming back towards the yard, ain't you? What? I was going to go to the main line. Do you want me to on the main line or somewhere else? So, yeah, come on to the main line. Can you grab the orange ones and then shunt them into the siding next to you? Next to it. Because I need to grab the two off the end as well and shunt them over. Okay, I'm going onto the main line now. Right, the orange and green are separated. I'm just grabbing the two that I need at the end and then Paul can grab his and then I can grab mine again. I really right. wish that the game would find a better way. Like, there's two sidings. Why couldn't it have just separated them? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Can you stop before the switch because I need to reverse. Okay. With two carriages out of your way. And then you're gonna have about 15 carriages. Am I? 11, yeah, 11 need to go to the bridge and then the others need to go to the hardwoods. I don't I'll think I'll be able to push all them up the hill, will I? No idea. If not, just take the ones you need and then I'll follow you up. Or Knight can grab him if he's got enough power. I should have. I've only got two carriages, haven't I? Okay. There's going to be some shunting to, until Paul can get his carriages that he needs. Yeah, it's hard. Then you can grab all the bridge ones, Paul. Am I pulling something forward or just pushing the whole lot up? Uh, you're pushing all the bridge ones up. Was everything the bridge now? It will no. be once I've grabbed my lot out the way. Oh, there's some other ones as well in there. Yeah, that you need to grab. No, you could probably shunt my ones out the way for me while I move this. And where would you like them shunted to? Just into the to the side next to it. I just move forward and then back again. Or I can, whoever's closer. I'm just reversing back onto the line. Okay, I'll let you do that then. Right, those ones can sit there for a minute. So Knight needs to grab. I did separate the orange and the green. Yeah, but you need some of the green, don't you? Yeah, but am I just going to move your orange ones out of the way and then pick up the greens, or...? Well, Paul could grab his now and then go forward and reverse back onto the main line and be out the way while we do this. Yeah, I know, but like I said, some of those greens that that's left are yeah, also bridged. Okay. Paul's got the bridge one, so he can, Paul can now go forward onto the main line. Right, you should be able to push nearly 500 tons up a hill, right? Who, me? No, Paul. <laughs> so, these Appalachian hardwoods, are they going to be separated out? 
Yeah, Knight's going to push them up then. We'll use the Shunter up. Because there's three more Brysons here, isn't there? Yeah, this is all Bryson, so Knight's got to go that way as well. And I don't want, I don't think, like you said, your train would take another, I don't even know how many times. Another nearly 200 tons. Pretty tough, got one there. But I'll just set that switch. That will take me to the to the side and to the left of the orange when I push back. So in between us. Yes. And then, do you want to push your ones up to Bryson, or do you want to pull them? Um. Bring them up, I suppose. Because I can grab if more. Of if I if I'm if the carriages if the passenger carriages are behind me, it means I can literally drop them off at the passenger station and continue going. So I need to push the freight really. Okay, so you need to come through before I can grab what I need to grab. Uh, Rich Williams, thank you for subbing with Prime and Adobe. Thank you for giving us subs to tie rope. It's a night. If you come back. You'll be going between me and the carriages. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going forward. Yeah, your train's facing the wrong direction. It keeps throwing me off. Yes, yeah, so I'm going towards the orange carriages now. So I'm going to go in between, am I? Yes. Then just keep going back until you hit the next switch. And then I'll pull all the orange ones out of your way. Because the Appalachian ones, you need to... Um... You need to reverse those in. Okay. They go past Bryson. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I'll be, um, I'll be behind them. So I'm pushing them in. Before you do head out, pups, or when, when night's gone, can you move this logging AI, AI thing? Yeah, yeah, no worries. While my train slowly keeps forward, I need to go and put that stuff back on the hit list. Might be able to give that guy some more cars if we can afford it at some point. I... No, we can't because the place where he goes, that's a... we've got as much as we can possibly put in there. Oh, is it? There yeah. was like a couple of sites up there, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a few different ones. Oh, the switch list is kind of big. That's fine. So we got three on it. Uh, no, it ain't. Half of them are not on there. Right, so do I need to come and get those two that you put to the right-hand side? No, 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 they're, they're staying Oh, they're there. going to... Uh, I'll move forward. Or backwards. Right, now we look at the switch list, Paul. Yeah, it's got a couple on there. <laughs> And I'm assuming that doesn't include stuff that's up the price. No, and... I haven't gone to the other ones yet. <clears throat> SMG, thank you for 52 months. See you later, Dave. Bye bye. There's nothing to end. Where's the next deck of pricing? That should be everything on the hit list now. I know it's not called a hit list, but it sounds better than a, whatever list it's called. Switch, Switch list. Yes. Mm. 
I've also like got an add from train option. Like I think that means if you get your train, hook up yeah. to all that stuff, and then click add from train, it'll put them on there from the train. I just find it easier just to go to the thing because then you can tick what you don't want the. Um because if they're not all connected to your train, say they're in different sections. Uh, Madman, that's not how a reversal works. Basically, if you max reverse, you get maximum torque, but you don't get maximum speed. You have to bring it in. No, I'm moving these ones out of the way so you can just go straight through. Okay. I will need to, when I get to this next switch, I will need to reverse back into I'm out your way. Too far night, I need to reverse. I just realised something, all this sawmill stuff, I can't move until I empty the sawmill. Yeah, there's a bunch of things need taken out the sawmill yeah. before you can put them in there. And because we're now tier 4 on the sawmill, it takes up both available slots. Yeah, I saw that. It's literally just like about 6 to 8 cars that just need to come out. Get past that? No, hang on. Give me two seconds. Oh, what was that? I just saw pop up on the console. Thing is, I'm not sure how it happened because there are two cars in the middle and everything counts as on the track. Something about pups we were on a car, I think. Like, can you get through that noise? I think so. Yeah. It's just weird how it's two in the middle and everything else is fine. Make sure you've got enough fuel, people. I filled up, mate. T4 and 5, the sawmill eats more logs per day than a single track at Conway can provide. I recommend some more skeleton cars and using Connolly L1 and or L3. Personally, I have two 12-car consists that I swap around, four cars a week. So when we go to T4, you're basically saying we won't be able to fill up with logs from that siding. We'll have to bring the other siding in as well. Yeah, we're currently using L2, which does eight cars. So we're good for L3 as well then. Yep. Or L1. I haven't played DCS for uh, quite a while, Creo. Our sawmill gets fed twice a day already by the AI. That's one thing I am keeping in top on. I'll throw the uh, switch for the logging run once I've passed it. No worries. And then I'll just send the AI straight up. 
Nice one, Blakey. Do you like the fresh coat of pink paint? Better check what the AI's on, actually. How, many, how much coal you got, mate? Did you throw the switch tonight? It is thrown. The AI is on the way. I wish they'd add some weather to this game. Yeah. Weather, ambient sounds, a different web file, I'll be, I'll be waiting. You're going to play more medieval this day. Uh, I'm waiting for Manor Lords, to be fair. Comes out on your birthday, bro. Comes out on my birthday when I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably play it on the weekend. 27th, 28th of April. Like slash weather in the font. Oh, we did do this before, didn't we? Yeah, I kept doing things like that. Like cloudy. Hey? Nothing's changed on my screen. Okay, now it has. How about <laughs> that then? That's very cloudy. Yeah, it just doesn't have dynamic weather. It has weather, but not dynamic weather. Set it to rain a minute, Paul. I want to see if it's as good as Hunt Showdown. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, the same gif from Hunt Showdown. I was going to say, that actually does look like the same overlay. <laughs> that's exactly the same. Oh, that's amazing. I feel like we just had a lot of weather in a short space of time. Cloudy isn't weather, needs a number. Yeah, cloudy one, cloudy two, cloudy three. But it did go cloudy. Cloudy three. Scarbox is a bit rubbish. Oh yeah, because I bet the snow will look just as good as the rain. <laughs> They're just like white dots on the screen. <laughs> is that interference? No, it's snow. Hunt Showdown needs a snow map. Don't even give my ideas, mate. With crunchy snow as you run. Next thing they'll put snow in eye racing. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? I, I I haven't touched eye racing since they added the uh, the rain. Me neither. I'm just waiting for them to add power mushrooms into eye racing. That that will be the <laughs> the line right there. That's when you'll go back when there's power mushrooms. That's what the grass will be like with snow. Don't get me started on eye racing grass. Oh, could you possibly skip an hour so this last carriage flips over? A 
Bob Ross clouds they are. Has it clicked over? No, I don't think it's gone out. It's still on 16 tons. I'll just leave that one there. When are you going to go back to Hunt Showdown? <laughs> I still play it, I just don't stream it. Wait, you tell me you play games away from stream. <gasps> My immersion has been ruined. We don't need a new map. What we need is for them to remove a whole bunch of things. Yeah, that's city weather mode for one where it's all foggy and you've got black dots that follow you around. Yep, that can go. Night maps can go. Night maps except in moonlight, they can go. Yeah. Uh, the assassin. The ability to put down double traps, like poison and concertina, that can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if they could put the melee tools back at the bosses, that would be great as well. Oh, and if they could fit their, fix their hitbox, that would be even more great. What about the pings? Oh, yeah, and the pings. And the ping abusers? Yeah, and like maybe lock people down to regions would be fantastic Ken if anybody misses 14 shots in a row they should stop playing in my opinion don't know what you're on about hey you can't talk the day before you missed how many in a row it wasn't 14 it was about 3 or 4 what else could they fix hmm. oh yeah if they could give me an option just to respec my hunter with one click instead of having to do multiple that's what loadouts are oh as in respect the health bars oh yeah like they could give me an option to do that in just one click fantastic what about the ability to swap your primary and secondary weapons in the character creation screen oh yeah that would be cool as well or just drag items around so you can order them how you like them yeah 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 so some, some quality of life features would be great Apart from that, it's a great game. <laughs> no, see, people like your people are getting the wrong ideas. I absolutely love Hunt Showdown, but there is so many quality of life things that game needs. Oh, also the big one: could they move to a cloud-based game server idea? So when they have an event, they don't have to shut down other things to keep up with the busyness. Right, does anything up here need doing? Where are you, Paul? Sorry, I went off on a tangent. I put Bryson just dropping that stuff off. Uh, da, 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 da. Bryson, lumber, coal supply needs to come yeah, back. Yeah, there's a couple of items here that need to come yeah, back. Yeah, hardwoods. Yeah, I've got the replacements for those two. And then I'm going to Lumber, Coal and Supply and Bryson Team BR1 and Bryson There might be stuff there. You know what game I'm sad that went downhill? What? Due to cheaters and the devs not listening. Battle bit. Did you fan that game? And it was really enjoyable to play. And then it wasn't enjoyable to play. There's an Appalachian one here. It has one point fun. I got a feeling this is about to trigger over. Always skip another hour and see.
There you go, they paid a dollar a ticket for that last run. Oh, my train is struggling. I have 750 tons from the sawmill. <laughs> That's a lot. Come on, little train! I really what? hope, like the next release of Battlefield, they actually strip it right back to the basics. Yeah. From what I could gather, it's quite an alright game now after they updated it for no, a not year. Battle bit, Battlefield. Yeah, that's what I mean, Battlefield. Oh, you mean Battlefield 2042? Yeah. Yeah, it's just hackers and stuff, isn't it? I don't know why I answer pups. Ask it. People just oh, yeah, want I'll... a solid Battlefield game. That yeah. all the nonsense. Play Fortnite. That's the solution. Mm. <laughs> I've just got to ring my mum and tell her to put my saucepan of potatoes on. Just want Ella to go back as well. Well, I, I've got to go up there, so leave it there for me. I do love Matty when it's on sale and you can get the entire game for like six pounds. What's that? Battlefield 2042. When it's a Steam sale, you can pick it up for like six pounds. When's the next Battlefield due out then? Is it this year or next year? Oh, you have the last break applied on one of your What? You have the brake applied to the last carriage, apparently. Or an air hose missing, one or the two. Mother? A minor detail. Brake wasn't applied then. Just didn't connect the hose. 2025 for the next Battlefield game, if that. I hope all the team who put together the last one are sacked and they get an entirely new team in and just rethink the whole thing again. But then, it's, it's not the devs though, is it? It's the people in charge who just want it rushed out the door. They focused too long on trying to make a game to compete with Call of Duty. That was their goal for years. Yeah. They need to not do that and just go back and say, what was so great about Battlefield 2, 3, and 4? Let's make another game like that. Oh my god, I hate that coal car. Is there a new one on its way up, by the way? I've got five coming up. You got a coal car by any chance? Yes. Which track are you gonna are you gonna want the station? Yes. All these files are going all over the place up there. More destruction. Battlefield Bad Company 2 was just an absolute peak game for me. If they could just redo that kind of game, I would be very happy. 
the sniping and destruction and helicopters and tank gameplay in that was just fantastic. Three tons of coal left. Kind of Blakey in that you you're moving logistics around. Right, you should be cleared through on track one. Right. Yeah, so the front three are all in this area, I think, and then the last. I'm going to go through and then you have to reverse back once I drop the passengers off. Yeah, I need to move these two before the new ones can go in. God, I should see where that one's due to. Just plan that up. Wait, is that one on you to go yet? Got 4.9 tons. Is that transparent or does that need to move? That's transparent. It needs to stay there. <sighs> yeah, ready or not, it's not really like Rainbow Six Siege. Unless you mean, oh, you mean the original. I'm still surprised that Siege hit the best player count it's ever had after nine years the other week. On Steam, anyway. I don't know how many player people are playing on Ubisoft. What was the reason? No idea. Also, that's the destination, tooltip destination. Means to move. Spotted means he needs to stay. Ah, I didn't know that. Lots of sponsored streams from Rainbow Six. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I don't think that's going to make up. I think it was like 200,000 people playing the game at once. Hundred thousand people playing, twenty thousand hackers. <laughs> I'd say probably more than that. So do I, Matty. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking with all those new operators and stuff. I predicted it years ago. I kept saying if they keep adding operators, this, this game will just deteriorate rapidly. Yeah, like, I don't even mind they've added them, but the gadgets... No, but yeah, but the them. new operator comes with gadgets. That's the whole point. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't mind that they've added them. But the gadgets they put with them is just, yeah. There are so many variables. They think that's a great idea, but it's not. The same thing happened in Battlefield. It became like an equipment proliferate, proliferate, I can't even say it, proliferation. I can't even say that word. <laughs> proliferation. Proliferation. <laughs> yeah. There's so much equipment that it just becomes a mess. Was say like Battlefield Three had very specific items, yeah. like your C4, your Soflam, your anti-air gun. Like you had very specific things, and each class carried very specific things. And that's how you, you know, you keep you keep the game balanced that way. You can balance things. As soon as you've got like twenty-five different equipment types, you can't balance the game anymore. Yeah. It's when they started adding ops that can produce a dark, mysterious bubble around you, or a robot that can dig up a floor and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, you just get into you like you're less Rainbow Six ops and more into the realms of sci-fi at that point. And then they removed unranked. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Yeah, that kind of, I mean, it's like what Hunt did with the maps. Like, they force you into situations. Like, you will play this map. You will play at night. Yeah. Like, when they removed Unranked, I was like, no, that's not done. <laughs> Exactly, Taro. That's the point. It's it's an order of magnitude problem. Combinations get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, that's what seems to be the thing, Slane. I think that's what they're missing in game development. A lot of these AAA games are missing that exact point. They think that in order to progress the game, you have to keep adding stuff to it. And that's just not what you need to do. Like, look at Counter-Strike. How much stuff has been added to that game in the last 10 years?
Right, have you got anything that needs moving here, Knight? I've just got to drop these off. Obviously, you got that one coal one. Which coal one? one? That's the second one on mine, the coal one. Where's that going here? Uh, the other side, and then you got the one by the build. I got the, the one at the very front is the one by this building here. Then you got the coal one, which is up on that right hand side, and the other two are at the top. Well, Appalachian needs taking over there. Do you want to drop the Bryson ones and I'll just shunt them over? I'm just going to leave my uh, passenger carriages here. But what Counter-Strike did was focus on being a solid shooter. That's what they did. A very high tick rate, solid shooter. And that's why you can play it in a competitive environment. I'll put one to the third track and leave them there because I haven't got enough room to back up without hitting the passenger carriages. I swear the game gives you these things deliberately out of order. Just to oh, make yeah. it more difficult. Well, I've spent the last 45 minutes just shunting things back and forth to get everything in order. Yeah, unfortunately, the wrong way around. I don't know, last time I played Hell Let Loose, it was a bit of a mess. Is that the one I played? The one that's just spawned Chaos Die. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The okay, problem with the I'm game playing. when I last played it, uh, which I think I played with Pops, was... It basically, you could end up with a situation where one team is totally overpowering the other one. And there's nothing anybody could do about it to get out of that situation. Is it just me or did Paul just cut off? He did. We died probably Discord then because I am not dropping frames and hey, I'm on voice act, so. Hey, you might want to repeat everything you just said. I, well, I didn't hear you. The stream heard it, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> The new you updates said... did fix it, okay. Still have. I just... <laughs> the bit that got me was it was basically spawn, run 100 metres, die. Spawn, run 100 metres, die.
I think the rolling cars need to make some noise as well. Yeah. They're doing pierce, but it's, you know, it's just not quite loud enough, is it really? Okay, we should be back, hopefully. <laughs> we are back. Man, this game is pretty... <laughs> nastily broken in some way now it can't just be me can it because sean's had issues all day but it seems to crash net your graphics card driver somehow yeah it basically i heard a billing and it just crashed something in obs obs died and then took and discord went with it because the graphics card driver went down and then the game froze and went down and i tried to restart obs and it was like nope so I had to reboot the PC. There's some brutal bug going on with this thing. Yeah. Unless you have AMD, and that seems to be okay. Well, that's the funny thing. In this particular instance, it does seem to crash the NVIDIA drivers, but not the AMD driver. Yeah. Mm. Fragmatism, if you ask me. I bet the dev's got an AMD driver. Can you imagine? <laughs> Technically, a game cannot crash a driver. Hmm, um, not true. I was going to say, that's not true. Uh, I've had more than one game crash a driver. Do things, like use features of a driver. I don't know what it is, but this game, no other game crashes my graphics driver, but this one does. So on that well, basis... Be. Yeah, the game will be trying to do something with the driver that the driver doesn't like because it's not supposed to do it that way, and that's what's crashing it. Which still means the game is crashing your driver. And it's like Paul said, it could be the dev, if, particularly if it's only a small team, have AMD graphics cards, oh and that's perfect with AMD, but it's only a problem on NVIDIA. No, Captain Flint, I think you misunderstand. When we say the game is crashing the driver, what we mean is the game's doing things with the driver that's causing the driver to crash. Ryan, I mean, maybe if we went back to the uh, studio driver, it might be fine. It might just be this version of the game driver. Oh, Who knows? On the game driver. I'm on the game driver now. Yeah. I've been for maybe about should, 12 months. Maybe I should try the studio driver. If it's only this game, then I'm tempted not to. But yeah. If I play this again, I might have to. <laughs>
Jimbo, are you ask him what's the difference between studio and game? The game driver, Jimbo, gives you the latest... Like, every time NVIDIA release a driver, you get it via the game driver. The studio driver releases less frequently and is considered to be more stable. So if you're, like, a professional using your computer for workstation stuff, like, I don't know, say you're doing 3D modeling or whatever, you want the studio driver because you don't need the game driver. You want stability. But if you're playing games all the time, you want the latest and greatest game driver. Like if a new game comes out, the game driver will have a driver for it. Yeah, I did that low morph. <laughs> My train sustained 9% damage after hitting the barrier. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't click fast enough. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? Let's say, because this game supports, what, 32 players, 16 recommended. Yep. So say you're in, a, in a, a game with 16 people and they're all driving trains around, one's controlling signals, and then the host game crashes. When he restarts it, 15 trains are going to be still moving <laughs> <laughs> while everybody joins back in <laughs> like that just sounds like a recipe of pain to me i mean it'd be quite fun to watch oh yeah right we're done at bryson here i believe so i've got 120 packs on board yeah i've only got three cars to the interchange and there's six listed so, where's the other three? There's one at Ella. I know that much. One at Holyfield Heating. And one at Bryson. What? There's three at Bryson. They must be the three I've got. Oh, one's down at the manufacturing plant. One's at Holyfield and one's at Ella. I'll be grabbing the Ella ones when I get there. How many packs have you got? 120. Ooh. Treat them, treat them well. Was that all of them, or did you not have no. to get everybody? There is, and I can find the right click point. Twenty-one still left. Is it a fork of railroads online? It looks pretty much the same. Is that how you judge a game, what it looks like? That's interesting. Yeah, I agree with that. The UI is a lot cleaner in this. Railroad's Online UI is just like debug mode. They're updating that. <laughs> Should think they are. Oh, is it already on it? Ow, I didn't know that. What? The new UI for Railroads Online. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, because the, no, they added the um, 
the overlay for the Steam and Speedo is like looks like a set of valve things from a real Steam engine. It's like a graphic. Oh, nice. Like a bit of, like a set of gauges, basically. Yeah. Being chased by a pink train. Now, I, I would see a doctor about that, Paul. I'm gaining. Give me a push when you get here. <laughs> now, what's that signal mean when it's when it's got red? What's it means two, three, full power. Ah, oh, sweet. Red means anger. Go for it. I love how we spent all that money on that that upgrade for signals and we don't use it whatsoever. Yeah, but you kind of have to get it. One point two percent gradient then. Brutal. Oh, I mean, what? What's nanny mode? Uh, thank you, Swift. I think my voice compliments Pups, you see, because this is more of like a ragey, angry voice. We're like yin and yang, ain't we, Paul? Yeah, basically, yeah. I'm like the sugar, he's the salt. Exactly. Where do I fit into this? I um, guess I guess you're the chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the popcorn. There you go. You're the popcorn <laughs> for the sugar and salt. I'm gonna kill the power. I'm a lot closer to you than before. <laughs> well, no, just give him a push, Knight. Come on. And what you're saying is nanny mode is basically easy mode and you've just renamed easy mode to nanny mode the game has different ways of being played for people who want a different experience nothing wrong with that oh no not everybody wants a hardcore game some people just like to relax and chill particularly if you're doing single player no I still, still need to get the last of us and do that. What's that? I still want to get the last of us part one and play it through. You never played that? Nope. It only got ported onto Steam not long ago, I believe. I don't think that's true. It was at least a year ago. Okay. Last of Us Part 1. Let's have a look. Wait, 28th... Matthew. Oh, look at that. 28th of March, 2023. At least a year ago. I was bang that on. Spot on! <laughs> bang on. Wait, Matty, also... You started watching that when you went to Canada. And how long ago was that? What was that? Matty's like, oh, I still need to finish the well, TV Well, you not finished show. it. You might as well start again, because you won't remember what's going on. <laughs> June last year. <laughs> no dedication, Matty.
Right, it's the one to pick up at Ella. So there's stuff to pick up at Ella and stuff on both sides of Whittier. What do you want to do now? Well, I've, got at, I've got to stop at Ella anyway to do packs. No, okay. I've got to bring stuff to Ella. Right, I'll go to Whittier then, I guess. I've got two carriages that need to go up to Ella. I just had to do some... Do you want left some... or right lane, right? Um, don't matter. Uh, right lane, because the packs is on the right main line. Paul, cool. are you going to the interchange after? I'm on my way down to Whittier, and then on to the interchange. If I leave one carriage here that needs to go to the interchange, could you grab it on the way through? At Whittier? Yes. Yeah, well, the, there should be at least one, though. Yeah. Go on to the I've, list. Yeah, I've just had to pull it out and push it back in to get... Well, what's the, the one at Holyfield Heating? Where's that? Uh, click That's, the number. It's the only one I don't know where it is. If you click the number of the carriage, it will take you to it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Whittier. There's one of the two tankers at Whittier. Okay. You're right near it. It's the front one. You can pull the front one out and put, attach it to that, and I'll pick them both up. Or I'll do it, it's up okay. to you. No, I can do that for you quick. Before I go on to Ella. Or if we're stopping, so good place to stop. I don't know, no. okay. You got it all planned out then, yeah, Pubs? Yeah. Cool. Sam Blackshaw, thank you for 78 months. Finish this day off and then we're done, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll pick up the empty at Ella Pops and then all you gotta do is the delivery. Yeah, I just gotta grab these out for pull the second. But we'll damp if I meant to throw the switch. dollar a ticket When you get to the bend at Whittier Pool, you might want to slow down and eventually stop because I've got to shunt one into your lane. Which lane do you want me in? I've already said it for you. Okay, so you want me to enter into Whittier, yeah? Yeah, you're just going to have to wait cause I'm going to... That's fine. I'm going to have to move these twice so you can pick them up without having to mess around at the other end. Looks like I'm on the inside lane. Yeah. Yeah, because then once I've done this, you should just be able to go forward and then go past all the switches and then reverse and pick up these two. So they're all on the same side as you. It's funny, if you give people diesel trains and electric trains, they always go, oh, it'd be great if it had steam in it. And you give people steam trains, they're like, oh, is steam trains the only thing in the game? <laughs> so which ones am I taking those three? Yeah, no, the two that's attached to me. Oh, I see. Why are you in the middle of them, Pops? Because 
I can see, but basically one was at each end, but I've got a way to fix it. Yeah, you just fly shunt the one at the back or the front. I'm going to do the one at the back. I'm going to push this one into the thing next to me. One. You see, what I would have done is taken a longer run up. Yeah, I just fit. I, I was like, I could have done this in one yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. And then you would have split everything apart. You sent your logo one way. Because uh, I've done that exact thing. <laughs> I was thinking after I let go, I was like, Yeah. If I gave myself more time. Yep. I did it at Ella. Remember, I said to you, I've got three vehicles moving. Yeah. That was when I was doing exactly that. Oh, you've left that close, mate. Oh, are you going to switch that? I'm not. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> this is not good. Stop. Bosh. <laughs> what happens when there's a pressure of an audience. Oh, dear. You gotta go further back and do it. You gotta give yeah. yourself time to separate. But you go all the way back though, I'll set this point for you. There you go. So it's set for you the loco. Need to go fast enough that the carriage has enough speed, but fast, slow yeah, enough. Yeah, you need to, to separate now. No, 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 separate now. And then pull away quick. I have separated. Yeah, pull away faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Use the reversal. Okay, I've got it. Oh, I should slow down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I had them to the other end. Well, I set your points so you wouldn't go into them. Right, what are you wanting to do now? All right, I'm grabbing these two, and then you can. You should be able to. Don't to go around you. You're going to push yeah, them. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to take these to Edda, and then that will be done once the night comes down. I am on my way down now. Thank you for the help. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, where are you, Knight? Uh, on the single track, I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. I'll just stop. And then you can take the inside. Or the outside, I should say. I already set it for the outside. Okay. Thank you. says it's red does that mean i need to go <laughs> i mean you can but we'll be having another meeting <laughs> i've stopped i'm waiting
It's such a long single piece of track. I was, say, I was just going to say, it'd be good. Even if it was a paid thing we actually pay for out of the game money, that you can do an upgrade where it adds a bypass section. Or you can upgrade to Ella so you don't have to go backwards and forwards to get yeah. things out. I was going to say, if that was a paid for thing, you imagine the tears in the Steam comments about pay to win. No, I mean using the in-game money, so like it's like oh, you know, right. not not I mean not IRL money. I thought you meant DLC. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you imagine DLC for a bypass? Dude, I keep saying with SnowRunner, if they if they give you a chainsaw DLC, I'll pay for it. Oh, if I, if I had the rock moving DLC, I'd pay for that as well. There's a mod that adds a little bit of extra track around the map as milestones. I think all the switches are set your side, Paul. I'll double check, Phil. I'm having a look. Oh, we've got cars, multiple cars on the middle track. When you drop cars, send them to the back. Because, like, now I've got a problem. How many carriages you got? Well, five, I think. It should fit in the middle one. Yeah, but it's a bit tight. And if you let them further down, I have more space to break them properly. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. okay, no worries. That's why I always send the cars right to the back. Yeah, they was together, but then I forgot I needed one of the carriages in the middle and I split them apart but never pushed them back together. That's my bad. I have one to drop off there as well. Yeah, like I said, it's my bad. I, one of the carriages at the sawmill wasn't empty. I hope that switch is right, Pops, otherwise we're having a meeting. It is. I set it, but I'd check it if I was you. It is a... Oh, that was absolute. Mwah. That was like a glove. Look at that. That was amazing. <laughs> like yours needs to go into the middle lane when you get there. Yeah. How's your cold and water, Pops? Fine. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I got 3.8 think... tons. <laughs> got 3.8 tons. It's fine. I was uh, like, it should be fine because I top up every time I go past now. Uh, fear my teddy. Thank you. 43 months. I definitely fear your teddy. You're doing a pack drop. It's just dropping off me. What are you doing, Pops? Getting something from Ella? No, I'm taking stuff to Ella. All oh, right. Can I uh, clean up like... this list? Uh, yes.
Yeah, I've got the one at the bottom. Yeah. Every morning now, I just jump to the uh, huts and put stuff on the watch list that we need. I think I might just park these passenger ones in this little siding here. Might as well. See you, Adobe. Have a good one. $178 for us. That's not bad. People. That's nearly two dollars ago. So it's 178 plus the 47. That's the total return trip. Let's have a look at the finances. What are we on? Five six nine nine. So what have we bought today? We bought a loco passenger car. Bought a platform car for four grand. And then a load of milestones, wasn't it? Yeah. No milestones selected. That one should complete tonight, shouldn't it? That one. Uh, yes, because you just delivered the carts back, didn't you? Mm. Unless, well, will it only complete when we pull them away, or will it complete? Tonight, I don't know. Either way, I think it'll unlock the Alarka stuff. Yeah. My train's on 100%, so I technically don't need to repair. What about yours? My train is 97. Which I believe it picked up from that little bump after the crash. Anything special for yachts? Yeah, four day streaming weekend. And some t shirts and hoodies. nine dollar damage y'all ha managed to get on board <laughs> look to your left night you can see yeah <laughs> nice the is when, I, when i sit down I end up sitting on the front, uh, in front of the cab, on the side. Oh yeah. And I keep falling off, that's why I'm having to stand there. I, I just move over to the seat here, it's generally okay, and then you can lean, and don't fall off. Why do we have flares on the track? They call fusies, and the AI will stop at them. Tomorrow is Yacht's 10. 40 through the 30 pen is fine, isn't it? Not really. 32's okay. I don't have any carriages on. Yeah, but you'll damage your wheels at best. 
It's saying we're going through junctions, you want to be doing 30. On some coal, mate. Or are you fly tipping then? I'm fly tipping. Which I don't know what the. Uh... This should be set correctly to go to the one to the left. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to drop them in there? I see what you're doing. Yeah, the middle one's a drop off point as well. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for the fly shunt. Is he going to have enough speed? That's the question. Uh -huh. I don't know if that interchange starts that far, does it? Well, I didn't stop it though. I just killed some speed. No, I meant like when does the highlighted bit start? Oh. Loads of it. Yeah. Massive glovage. Nine damage. No use talk. You got nine on yours? Oops, does it wit here? I'm flying. I'm I at can full see. Speed. You're so going to derail. I went round the 30 at 14. It was fine. See if I can get some more speed out of this. No, he's, he's got no appreciation of, me of mechanics, has he? 46! 47! Derail in 5. 40 four. towns. Wait, I'm just thinking now this may be a bad idea being where I am. <laughs> Why? I'm stopping for coal. Yeah. I mean, where I am. That's one. That's oh. one. Idea. I'll stop, Knight. It's fine. I'm at 50. Pups, like, goes 100 metres now and then gets coal. Oh, that was a bit wobbly over that. <laughs> bit back a bit. Oh, you're doing water. Do you not I think it's reach. annoying, right, the way that the coal chutes and water chutes are lined up backwards? Yes. Like, the coal's here, and if the water was there, <laughs> you're like, you could do both. It's almost like it's intentional. See, nothing wrong with my speed. Oh, we're going to need a new coal gondola soon. I mean, my, my train sustained quite a substantial amount of damage. 88% on the tender. Oh, no, that's the mogul. I would like to point out 9% of that was done by the restart and me hitting the barrier. And the other 9% was done by... Me overspeeding. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag worth it! Okay, forward. We can go in the repair shed now. Have you overshot? No. 
It's not going in the hole, but we don't worry about little details like that. <laughs> I knew Pups was going to do this. Do what? I think he's all clever. I am clever, look. Well, 100%, 97%. I mean, you can, Pops, you can fit in the repair yard if you needed to. I do need to. Can you ask where I'm heading towards? There's enough room for all of us in there. You've used a lot of coal. I was going 51, you cam died. Yay. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to derail? <laughs> I won't mind. You know what? I've got the door open. That's how ridiculous that is. By the time the aircon's cool the room down. <laughs> <laughs> Put a picture of a scroll on the screen. No one will know the difference. <laughs> like you need to go right up to the end. I need to fit in there yet. Yeah. Um Paul's done it on his side. Okay. And the switch is even set for that way. I thought you'd have got in with me because you only need the logo doing. Was Pops has to fix everything. Well, I had a need, a need for speed. I can move over. Are we too late? I mean, I don't need to repair, so I can just move out if you want. No, you're staying there now. I'm boxing you in. Don't forget to set your repair thing on the... Already? Well, mine's done. I don't know about ninths. That's what done. I'm we done the back bit as well. Anything that you want repairing, yeah. Yeah, my back bit is 100% uh, just the main... And it's parked up. Is that all the job's done? Okay, well, if I just skip the day. Well, the map reloaded. Milestones now has a lock unlocked. There you go. So you do that one, and then it'll unlock the other two lockers as well. Okay. And we'll save it there. See if I can convince the camera to come on. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. I think we've camera should stay on for the last couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like the look at those clouds. Right, cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, the uh, stream crashed a few times, guys, but this game's a bit weird. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Thank you, Captain Flint. Well, there goes another year, guys. We're at the end of year. Yachts 9. Yachts 10 starts tomorrow. Amazing. But nine years full-time, starting the 10th. Incredible support. Thank you all. Can we get some love in chat for all the mod team, guys? They do a cracking job behind the scenes, apart from pubs. <laughs> oh, dear. He's going to rage later. Right, I shall be back in a few days' time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, wherever you're doing. Thank you very much for all the uh, the gifted subs this weekend in particular. If you've got a sub, welcome. Enjoy your month of uh, subbing. Don't forget we have the uh, the Discord server you can join if you want to, and also 
got 10 t-shirts and hoodies that won't be on sale for very long, about a month usually. So after the end of April, I'll probably take them off the store. But uh, yeah, thank you, Cheese Man, for 26 months. It just remains for me to say thank you all. Thank you for your support. Couldn't do this without you. And uh, yeah, let's uh, enter the 10th year. 10th year of Year of the Squirrel. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. See you all in a few days' time. We'll update the schedule middle of the week. Um, but yeah, take it easy. Love you all. Good night.